What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans, Philadelphia 76 fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. We'll be doing a live play by play reaction scoreboard game clock. Who's on first? Who's on second over there for tonight's game? Uh oh. Right, just far away for tonight's game, San Antonio Spurs hosting the Philadelphia 76ers. We got a full crowd tonight. We got Selena Gomez, Baby Coyote, Headman Grogu rocking the scoreboard, and T.S. Bear laying on the couch, uh, already bored with the game that hasn't even started yet. And myself, yours truly. Hope you had a great weekend. Monday tomorrow, which means back to work, back to school. Unless you're in a foreign country somewhere enjoying yourself. So, there's that. Anyway, good evening, Reyes. Good evening, Daniel Berry, the biscuit buddy. I'm not looking forward to the amount of times flop bead makes to the free throw line. Yeah, he might go to the free throw line a lot. And last time he played the Spurs, he dropped 70 on us. So hopefully the Spurs can play better. You got to think Wemby's going on a little revenge if possible. We have a very depleted roster. I think Cullen's back tonight. But it's going to be a tough game. Uh, Biscuit Buddy, I think both uh, the, the item that you won is on the way, I believe, from Amazon. So everybody's items that were won Friday night have officially been shipped and should be there all this week, I hope. Yeah, I think everything will be there this week. Kelvin, oh, Kelvin's starting. Free. Free J. That's the first time he's started in a while. I like it. Spurs right now come into the game with a record of 19-58. and 58. One went away from tying the worst record record in franchise history, the 96-97 Spurs, and two wins away from eclipsing it and not being the worst team of all time. For the oh, and Bead's out tonight. Holy crap! All right, for the 76ers, Joel Embiid is out, Kyle Lowry is out, the Anthony Mountains out, Tobias Harris is out. Oh my Atlanta, they're resting everybody. All right, this is gonna be a mess for the Spurs. Devasell, Jeremy Sun, Chetty Osmond, Dominic Barlow, Ellen is available. So Harris, oh my goodness. Uh, wow, I gotta go back. I didn't realize the 76ers were, uh, wrestling right really tonight. Wow. Embiid, Lowry, a mountain's out. This is gonna be tough to call the 76ers. Well, the Spurs have a chance of winning this game. I'm gonna struggle with the 76ers now that, uh, at least three players that I thought were playing tonight are not playing. Okay, wish me luck, Spurs fans. It's, uh, there's what it is. Hello there. Good evening to you, Machine 78. 21 and 61 is good. Not the worst team of all time. Definitely a lottery team. And, uh, I mean, listen, I'm not rooting for us to be a lottery team, but we're a lottery team no matter what happens. <laughs> yep, no flop beads. So when are we going to go for 50 tonight? I have no idea who the starting line is going to be for the 76ers now. I got no clue. I am totally confused. Uh, uh, okay, whatever. Nice Cowboy X Factor. And Cowboy X Factor, I'm sure you saw the message. Uh, I did send them the item out to you. That should be there, I think, Wednesday, maybe there, Tuesday. I was a bit shocked. So, you know, my man, the Cowboy X Factor in the chat, longtime supporter, always talking how much he likes Baby Coyote and Headband Grogu and, and you know, the, the, you know the, the, the other members of the TSR family. And I thought for sure he'd pick Baby Coyote. They went to Tim Duncan Funko. Respect. Uh, Free J, I'd like to see City Sissoko maybe show us some offense. Because that's my one concern with him, having any type of productive career in the NBA. He's got some talent. He's got some ability. He's got skills. And he's showing us definitely some pizzazz on the offensive end. But he looks uncomfortable on the offensive end. And I don't expect him to fix that this season. But he's going to need to fix that over the next few seasons. Yes, you can make a, a career as just a... A defensive stopper, but in today's NBA, I think you got to at least give something more than just defense. A five by five, hello there. Well, that would be, I would take that, or a quadruple double, or a quintuple double, maybe. Can you smell that? Big game for one be coming up. Call the Sixers players, Ricky. <laughs> I'm probably calling the 60 Sixers players headband guy and guy with pink shoes and, and boring looking white guy. I, I'm going to, I mean, I don't know what. <laughs> It's going to be tough with that many people out. And their starting lineup has not been announced yet. So, uh, well, we'll see. Steven, good evening to you. Asia, thank you for stopping in. So, to go with the offense improved slowly throughout the G-Link season. Just got to give him time. Oh, Glazing Baking, I'm not ready to give up on him. 
if you've been coming to this channel long enough, I'm not one of the people that's ready to give off, give up on somebody on year one or even year two. I do see spurs from fans come in and listen, respect your opinion. You're entitled to it. We all have di different views on how the team can be better. That's what we all want in the end. But when I see players say cut a player after one season already, and even some of our season two guys, I see some fans say get rid of Jeremy, get rid of Malachi, get rid of Blake. I'm like, they're all still extremely young. They were all first round picks. If they show no progress in year three or regress in year three, all right, maybe we'll start talking about trading. But right now, only two years into their NBA career, way too early. Can you imagine if the Lakers got rid of Kobe Bryant after his first year? All right, well, you know, what do you average? Seven and a half points a game, something like that. Well, I guess it's just, you know, he's not showing us anything. Let's cut Kobe. That worked out pretty good keeping him around. Not thinking of our guys are going to be Kobe, but I think you get, you get the idea. Man, man, 23-59. Yeah, yeah, that was. W, Seaman, we have a legit shot for W with Embiid out and half of the starting lineup for the 76ers. Good evening, Jamie. Mr. Z's pulling into the stadium. Enjoy, 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 enjoy the game tonight. 3J agrees with the Sogo take. Man just got to turn 20, got to develop. I've been making a gem in the rough. I hope so. If it was Coyote or Rumi, I would have chosen between the two, but I would like to collect Funko. I, I did just see you say that. So I respect that. That's why I wanted to give you guys a nice variety. Uh, some of the most popular things, to my surprise, were the Funko Pops and the basketball cards. I thought for sure we'd be giving out a million Coyote, uh, coyote plushies, but only one person dared get the Coyote. It was Veronica. Not a surprise. We sure did give him away glazing baking. Hector Jimenez, good evening, too. Asia, I felt a little bit of something at work, but I thought it was a truck driving by. I had no idea what was going on. Just felt a little something. Go Spurs, go to you. Choosing between Baby Coyote and Baby Wemby is hard now, but now I know Grogu and Baby I felt. Maybe I realize here. He's, he's way over here. I can't reach for him. I'm tall. I'm lengthy. Hey, there's uh, Mini Eli. I don't know if he's Baby Eli. I've seen the Mini Eli, but I've had this for a long time. My mom got this for me. I want to say I've had this Eli for... Four. I feel like it's somewhere between Super Bowl 42 and 46. I've had him for at least 15 years, I think. Don't know where she got him. I never asked, and I can't because she's no longer with us. But that, that is a little Eli. A little Eli in the house. Malachi Libby shows Flash is a good scoring, but he really needs to step on his defense. He's shown a little bit more effort on defense at times this year. Offensively, he's all over the place. So Kel is the starting lineup. So I'm trying to think what the starting lineup would be. Obviously, Wemby and Trey Jones, Kelvin, Champagne's probably in the starting lineup, and then Branham. Is that our starting lineup? That's what I'm going with. I could be totally wrong. Anyway, Sparks goes for his go to you. And by the way, if you have a thumbs up, you know the deal. It helps the channel. The only thing we'll ask for here. So please do so if you haven't done so already. All right, Cowboy Spectre, I got you. See, all right, you're a Funko guy. I'd go with Baby Wemby all day. You know, Victor Wembyama, uh, you, uh, the baby version of you, my girlfriend said that I should get that Baby Wemby even even just for TSR Sports, so I'm contemplating it. Branham, Champagne, Wemby, who, if you didn't catch the video I did earlier today, is playing the rest of the season, and I missed one part that you guys pointed out. You could get hurt any time of the year, but the biggest concern for everybody, I think, is that he gets hurt in these last five games and the Olympics, too. Dre Jones and Kelman, so I, I called the starting lineup. What a shocker. Wemmy, Champagne, Kellen, Branham, and Jones. That makes sense with the availability of certain players. And wow, we got a lot of headbands out there tonight. I put that up there because you guys said uh, it was an epic boop. So, sure, it didn't get a ton of views. I don't care. I'm finally laser focused on putting stuff, putting up content that I feel like I would enjoy, that you guys would enjoy. To be transparent, Miss TSR would enjoy. And uh, if it gets views, great. If it doesn't, whatever. I've been able to check your recent live shows. I have a question. Any favorite player in the draft for you or any specific position to try to fill? The biggest for me, Hector, is I think we need to replace Champagne. Champagne's kind of playing the three slash four. I feel like Sohan will play the four. So Zachary Sache is a player that I would love to get, but I think we're going to need like a top two pick. All right, Buddy Hield, Kelly Oubre Jr., Paul Reed, Cameron Payne, and Tyrese Maxey are the starters for... The Sixers, and I'm not going to know who anybody is on the bench because a lot of these guys are usually on the bench. Zachary Sache, point guard, we could use an upgrade too. Uh, we'll see. 
it's going to really, what happens is really going to depend on where we draft. If we fall back to like five or six, if we get the first or second overall pick, wow. If the Raptors fall back to like seven and we get two first, you know, two lottery picks, eh. Isabel the Frenchie, good evening to you. Thank you for stopping in. I am probably actually one of the, I'm probably more worried about the Olympic Games, but we, you know what, we can't worry about that. Yeah, every time he steps on the court, we can't worry about an injury. Just like every time you get in a car and drive, you can't worry you're going to get in a car accident. We just got to hope for the best. If the Spurs win again tonight, Rich, you need to wear a headband next time. I only have one headband, though. And that headband is where my headband Grogu. And this, this headband doesn't fit me very well. I should look for an NBA headband. They, they probably have those on Amazon, right? And these are not the fake Spurs TPX. Let, let me ask you, one of the Tottenham Hotspurs, we're one they created. I'm guessing probably a longer. Headbands are a good thing. Franklin, thank you for stopping in. I actually couldn't tell you anything about the Tottenham Hotspurs except the two times I saw them in the Premier League, they sucked. I don't know if they suck anymore, and I'm not trolling. They sucked when I saw them. That was also like four or five years ago. I'm sure the team is completely different. And if anybody knows sucks, it's me. I'm a Giants and Spurs fan. A San Antonio Spurs. Spurs win the jump ball. Players are on the court. And away we go. Trey Jones runner on the paint is no good. Sixers ball. Exactly. Hello there. Exactly. Tokushibo, I feel like that too. Quick pull up three down the other end is no good by Tyrese Maxey. Kelvin with the rebound. Kelvin rocking some bright pink shoes tonight. Champagne runner on the paint, no good. I'm glad to see him attacking the rim. Even though they did not go in in the last game, he was attacking the rim a lot more. And for him to be successful on this team, he's going to have to show us that he just can't stand there and shoot threes. That he can score from a little bit of everywhere. And there's a block by Wemby. He's going to go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Sixers 10 on the shot clock. I would love Versace. Yeah, TPX, I had a feeling that the, hot, the Tottenham Hotspurs were ages old, but you know, if you re I know it really gets you annoyed. Soccer. I went there. Maybe you're not part of that club, but when I watched Premier League and called it on this channel four or five years ago a little bit, when I said soccer, oh my God, people hated me. Wendy with the ball, drives in the paint, layup is no good. I'm like, listen, I'm in America. If I say football, people are that. Are the normal subscribers on our channel are going to think football, like American football. So I have to say soccer to differentiate two. Webby was fouled on that one. He's going to go to the line for two. Rod, the chance of the Spurs winning is very good. No Embiid tonight. Webby was hit on the arm. Clear foul. Foul on Paul Reed. All right, the Spurs have a very good chance of winning. It's all tied up, by the way, at zero. Dragon, good evening. Congrats on your win on the giveaway Friday night in the anniversary show. Congratulations to all five subscribers that each won a gift of their choice. And uh, hopefully when they get there, you are very happy with, well, what you got. I might start to do, you know what we might want to do for giveaways? How about a giveaway every 1,000 subscribers? So when we get to 23,000, 24,000, 25,000, 26,000, you know, maybe like $20 giveaways, you know, baby coyote plushies every 1,000. And then something bigger when we get to the 5,000s, 25,000, 30,000, et cetera. Because I'd really like to start giving back to you guys. Who has a poor work ethic? Free J, who? You're not, Wemby does not have a poor work ethic. I would not put him in that at all. I don't know a ton about him, but from what I've seen this year and heard about him. And almost a block by Wemby, a fight for the ball, and Wemby with the rebound, Reed with the miss. Spurs ball up 2 0, 10 and a half minutes to go. They get up to Kellen, and Kellen stepped out of bounds. Why do that happen so much? Donald, good evening to you. Greetings from the I 10 Arizona. Give away a wheel of cheese for every thousand. Give a wheel of cheese. Like have a wheel of cheese shipped to somebody from Amazon. Odyssey, good evening to you. Yes, yeah, so I'll give away a house every thousand subscribers because, you know, having 22,000 subscribers, I am making at least $710,000 a month so I can give away houses. I'm not making that. Kelly Oubre Jr. gets into the paint, gets the layup. Good, we're all tied at two. I'd rather see him win two more. Champagne for three. I like to see the Spurs win two more, so they're not the worst Spurs team of all time. That's just my thing. Cowboy Spectre, I just want them to compete. If the wins come with it, so be it. If they lose, so be it. Just play your best basketball. Cameron Payne misses a three at his Spurs ball. Champagne with the ball gets over to Trey Jones. Jones, by the way, will be live for the rest of the season. You guys probably already know that, but every Spurs game that's left, all four of them, will be live for all of them, even the Spurs versus the Pistons. 
That's a turnover by the Spurs. I think that Wemby's going to charge with that turnover, trying to thread the needle to Trey Jones, and that's a pull-up three, and that's good by Payne. Whoops. All tied up at five. Wemby with the ball again. He's going to have a high usage rate tonight. Let's see if the Sixers double or triple team him all night. We'll get over to Kellen. Kellen's going to launch a three from the corner. Okay. Nice. Welcome back, Kellen Johnson. Good to see you, my friend. Got my Johnson right there above my head. I think it came out the way I wanted to, did it? Probably not. Reed in the paint, throws it up off the glass. It's good. It is eight to seven, nine minutes ago. Did he want to come here, Biscuit Putty? I don't remember that. Spurs versus Pistons should be TNT game of the year. That's going to be something of the year. Wemmy in the paint, layup. Missed it. Reed with the rebound. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Driving to the paint. No good. Maxi going to go to the line for two. Ooh, the shot is no good. Pause L L L. Pause what? Free J. I wonder who you guys are talking about with the poor worth ethic. Oh, you're talking about Kalal Ware. Uh, I think some of you were talking about, oh shoot, what's his I can't remember his first name. Edie? It's like Zach Edie. First free throw is good. The the guy from Purdue. Uh, did I read correctly? It was right before the stream, so I didn't really get... I only saw the Twitter post. He's not going to be eligible for the NBA draft because he, he failed his finals or something? No, Mick, I'm not. I'm definitely not going to look at it. No, I, I've i never been... I'm, I'm fine with the Eclipse. Spurs ball down 9-8. I don't think the Spurs... Well, the Spurs and Pistons certainly could affect positioning in the lottery on next Sunday's game. Spurs have four games this week and close out next Sunday, week from today. So when the pull-up J is going to be good. I think that's the first bucket of the game. Yeah, that was four points. Oh, Steven, it's going to be a tank. tank a rama on Sunday. Stephanie, good evening to you. Hey, if you guys are excited about the clips, all good. Me personally, eh. But if you are, cool. But two for three, no good. But two. He's checked in for the Sixers. I'm going to have to keep an eye on who's checking in because I'm going to not know a lot of the players on the Sixers tonight. Wemmy takes a mile on three. In and out. That went in and rattled around the rim and came out. Read in the paint. Saw Wemby and said, no thanks. Pass it back out the paint. Payne's going to drive in the paint. And almost threw it out of bounds. Nice save by, I think it was Kelly Oubre Jr. with the save. Oubre's going to fire off a three. Uber, what a clutch three. Uh, Mick, I think it's a school thing. Not, I don't think it's an NBA thing. I think, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with Zach Eady. Turnover by Branham. Could not hold on to the ball. Lost the dribble. Sixers on a break. And the layup is good by Tyrese Maxey. And Pops going to call a timeout. Selena can't keep her eyes off you. She's going to miss the game. Thank you, Machine 78. Zach Eady is slow, and he tried for MA draft twice and went back to college. I don't think the Spurs... Oh. Yeah, I mean, if he can't... If he's not eligible again... T.S. Bear's on the couch, by the way. Here, I'll, I'll get the camera over there so you can... See, he's, he's watching the game like he normally does. Found asleep. Big Spurs fan right there. Huge. Zucchini? No, Edie. Zach Edie. Is his nickname Zucchini? And Coke is but did he get charged with that turnover by Branham? He shouldn't have. Pop call a timeout. The Spurs down 14-10. And what looked like a game that was probably not very winnable looks very winnable without MB, without Lowry. Um, Harris is out, so the, the Sixers are resting some guys tonight. Bonjour to you, Julian. And we're going to see that a lot the rest of the season where more and more teams are going to be resting their guys. We have guys out for the rest of the season. Soan's not going to play again. Vassell's not going to play again. Heck, Soan had surgery, so he ain't done done. You've heard of the Super Bowl. Now get ready for the Toilet Bowl featuring the Spurs and Pistons. Heck, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> with the hay bear, nice. Albert, I could care less about WrestleMania. I... If you guys like it, that's great. Hope you enjoy it. I have not cared about wrestling since. I watched it briefly in 16 and 17 when Golder came back, but actually like cared about it and watching it on the regular, probably 2005. So almost 20 years. 
and that probably coincides with the fact that I've been a UFC fan. I've been a UFC fan my whole life, but actually really diehard watching all the events. Started doing that in 2010. So there's a little, little space there where I wasn't really watching UFC or WWE, and then got back into w the uh, UFC big time. Go Spurs, go to UGC3. Spurs going to blow out the Pistons 150 to 0. Okay, that would be an interesting score. I am not sure even I want to see that. Well, since the Spurs aren't in the playoffs, I'm going to root for the Nuggets since Jokic had good things to say about Wemby. Uh, I won't be rooting for anybody. I might be rooting against somebody. I'm not a big fan of the Lakers and their super team concept that they've done the last few years, so I'll probably be rooting against the Lakers. Plus, as a Spurs fan, you can't root for the Lakers. Um... It might be nice to see somebody new in the NBA Finals, like the Timberwolves. And the Timberwolves gave up a boatload of draft picks to get Rudy Gobert, so they're kind of in win-now mode. So I don't mind seeing like Minnesota in there. And I got a feeling for the Eastern Conference, barring something weird happening, it's going to be Boston. Those Spurs and Pistons work. Yes, I do. Now they're in WCW is better. Uh, it was for a while, but WWF Attitude Era, I think, was better than WCW, which is why WCW eventually went under. Spurs ball, Trey Jones is going to turn the ball over. A terrible pass. Horrible pass. It went right to Kelly Oubre Jr. Oubre, ta Oubre takes it coast to coast and finishes in the paint. What a layup. Jumper. Lay, jump, lay jumper. Oubre with seven points already. Wemby with the ball. Going to take off. Tries to get into the paint and gets fouled. Cowboy X Factor. I don't think I can root for the Mavericks. Mo Bamba is checked in for the 76ers. Tell me when will you be mine? Tell me Mo Bamba, Mo Bamba, Mo Bamba. Buck's going to win it all. I Something about the Bucks I don't trust. Uh, Mick, I wouldn't root for, well, one, as a, as a Spurs fan, I would not root for another Texas team. And I'm also a Giants fan, which means I'm anti-anything Texas sports team for the most part, except for the San Antonio Spurs. Although, I don't have a beef with the Houston Texans. But I don't like the Cowboys, and I don't... I'm not a fan of our in-state rivals, the Houston Rockets and Dallas Mavericks. It's when he gets in the paint, throw it down! Right on the inbound passes, one around his guy, boom, shakalaka! Under dunk of justice! Wemby with six points already. And a dunk down the other end by Kelly Oubre Jr. Oubre is unstoppable right now. Who's guarding Oubre? Is it Champagne? Is it Kelman? And me? Might as well be me. Wemby with the ball again. 14 on the shot clock. We'll get it over to Champagne. Champagne looking to get back to Wemby. Nothing there. Gets it over to Brandon. Brandon's going to pull up from the elbow. No good. It's going to be Sixers ball. Pull up Jay from the free throw line is no good. Champ Penny with the rebound. I think that was Cameron Payne with the pull up. What number is Mo Bamba? I can figure number out. He's five. Okay. Spurs ball. Trey Jones down three point land. Starts to drive. Gets into the paint. Layup. Good. Nice job, Trey. He showed a great ability to get around defenders and get in the paint and get the layup. Uh, yes, Cowboy. That's exactly what it is. Nothing personal. Listen, if your team wins, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Mobamba for three. Okay. Jay Oval's World, thank you for stopping in. Spurs down 21 to 14. This is kind of a shocker since the Pelicans had. I, 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 I don't know. I haven't. I also love to see a Timberwolves versus Pacers finals, defense versus offense. I think it's going to be Celtics. I really do. Minnesota versus Boston, maybe. I. I Oh, hey, stranger things have happened, right? Tommy Watson, good evening to you. Lifelong Cowboys fan, big Jerry Jones hater. Uh, Cowboy X Factor will join you in that one, by the way, Dustin. And Trey Jones is at the line for two. Wait, did his bucket not count? Or did I miss something? Yeah, Jones missed a free throw. I don't hate the Mavs. If you're talking about teams I actually actively dislike, not hate, but dislike, 
The Red Sox are going to be the first to come to mind as a Yankees fan. That just goes without saying. Trey Jones made one of two, 21 to 15. Red Sox, Patriots, Lakers. I don't think I even have a strong dislike for the Rockets or Mavs. It's, I mean, I don't like them, but it's not to the point where I dislike them, if that makes it. You know, there's a difference there. Like, the Mavs and Rockets, I don't like them when the Spurs play them, but when we're not playing them, I don't really care, whereas I just don't like the Red Sox all the time. It is Spurs ball. Happen to miss. Let me get focused on calling the game here. Mamu's checking in the game. Gets it to Jones. Jones runner's no good. Wendy with a putback dunk. Couldn't quite convert. Spurs do get the ball back. Jones still with it. 12 on the shot clock. Four and a half minutes to go. And Trey Jones is going to launch a three over Batum. No good. Buddy healed with the rebound. I think it's the first time I've said his name tonight. Hey! Smoke him if you got him. That quick pull up three is a switch by Kelly Oubre Jr. And he is going off on the Spurs tonight. <sighs> 24 to 15. And Oubre has half of the Sixers points already. We can't stop him or contain him. I thought Wemby would be having a first quarter like that. Champagne drives in the paint out to Wemby. Wide open for three. Takes the three. Back rim no good. Fight for the board and... Finally, Ubre Jr. is going to come away that I I'm shocked at just how good Ubre is playing tonight. Really cooking us. Mabamba with the ball. Out to Cameron Payne. 10 on the shot clock. Remember there were rumors about Payne coming to the to the Spurs at one point? Payne's going to almost throw it away. It's saved, but knocked out of bounds by Wemby. And Wemby, I think, is going to check out. When he's going to not pick up plays and make him, he's going to put it down. He's, he's, he's coming out of the game, and Zach Collins is checking in. I want this to be an eight-man rotation by the Sixers tonight, the eight guys that have already played. Inbound. Mobama for three, no good. Champagne with the rebound. He'll bring up for the Spurs. Gets it way up court to Zach Collins. Collins in the paint. A little bit of a yard. Something gets blocked by Mobama, but Blake Wesley there with the putback, 24-17. Who's going to step up for the Spurs tonight? That's what I want to know. Is it going to be me? I can't step up. I am, I'm not an NBA player. Time out. Time out, Sixers. And I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. We're only at 37 likes, though. Usually it's at least 50 by the half. I know it's going to be a small crowd tonight with Embiid out. It's a Sunday night. But that being said, those of you who are here certainly still can help a fellow Spurs fan out or NBA fan if you're a Sixers fan by smashing the old thumbs up. It is free. Go, Spurs, go! <laughs> and after the game, I'll be, uh, for those that care, i jumping on the Xbox and playing a little uh, Diablo 4, which is recently added to Game Pass. They do have NBA headbands on Amazon. I have to go for a bit. All right, enjoy Cowboy X Factor, and I will have to look at the NBA headbands. Need a four-door sedan to stop Uber. Oh, that's right, Wendy. That's where I'm going to confuse the camera. I'm thinking of somebody else. Cameron Payne, that's right. He was the spur, and he wants... Okay, I forgot about that. That's why his name is... I remember him now. Yeah, he wanted out. I remember. I forgot about that. Is it me or does Blake look 30? I think it's you, Kokushiba. I don't think he looks that old. 30? 30? I'll tell you who does look... Uh, do you remember, like, Greg Odin? That dude looked older than his age. He he looked like in his 30s. Gary came into the NBA. Now, Rico Suave, I remember that now. The name was familiar, and I, for some reason, could not put two and two together. I did even a video about him getting waved. You know, get, get, I may have given him the middle finger in the video. I probably did. I, I do remember the whole situation now. Good evening to you, Gabriel. Top five favorite players on the team. Mine, Vassell, Sohan, Wemmy, Blake, Sissoko. I mean, Wemmy's an obvious one. Kelvin, Devin. I think Jeremy. After that? Huh. Excuse me. I have to think about that. I honestly don't know. Who do I really root for? Somebody off the bench or... I don't know who the fifth player would be. Yeah, I did GC3. I honestly think Wesley's faster than Bolt. I don't 
I don't think that, but Blake Wesley is certainly the fastest player on our team. Uh, dang, I'm trying to think who else I put. I, I have the Fantastic Four, Wendy, Kellen, Devin, and Jeremy. Who's my fifth out? Coyote. Who's my least favorite spur ever? Morris. Technically, he's a spur. Was it Marcus Morris or Marquise Morris we waved? It was Marcus Morris se uh, Senior, wasn't it? Maybe. I get the Morris screwed up. But Morris can be my least favorite spur ever. He counts. He was a spur. And he's a douche. 76ers ball. Ure Jr. is going to defer to KJ Martin and KJ with the bucket. 26 17 in the paint. We're going to have three top 15. Maybe Rico. Maybe. A lot, of, a lot of stuff has to happen that year. The, the Bulls pick is lottery protected. We saw the Raptors pick, which who knows, we'll get that this year or next year. Then there's our own pick. Champagne's going to drive in the paint and almost lose the ball. Going to kick it up to Devontae Graham. Graham's going to throw it back to Collins in the paint. Collins with the jumper. Good. And Zach has been playing much better the last few weeks. I got to credit where credit's new. Fifth best player, Coyote. Yeah. Yes, Morris made us lose uh, uh, Davos Bertans. I always mess up his name. They waved, I believe they waved him to make room on the cap for Morris, and then Morris changed his mind and went to the Knicks. What was it? Obama, pull-up jumper, no good. Spurs ball. Devontae Graham with the ball. He played very well against the Pelicans, his old team. We'll get it out to Champagne for three. Julian shot a little off, and, and Julian is fouled by Buddy Heald. Julian's going to go to the line for not one, not two, but three free throws. Wasn't he going to sign with us? Yes, he went to the Knicks, exactly. And yes, we did. He did get traded to the team, and we we waived him. Least favorite spur: Radoslav Nesterovic. Cameron Payne's least favorite. Fine. Can you imagine if the Spurs got the first overall pick again? Can you imagine? It could happen. It's not likely, but it could happen. What? Who would you take if we took got the first overall pick? I got to think. It's between their Fishers are reviewing this, so we got a minute to talk. Zachary Wasache, Alexander Saar. Could it be one of the guys that's been playing well in in March Madness? Uh, I know uh, my girlfriend said that Donovan Klingon's stock has been rising a lot, and I watched the highlights between UConn and was it Iowa men's basketball in the Final Four that UConn won. I don't think he fits with the team. It's not what we need. He seems to be, from what I at least could watch, more of a throwback center, and I'm not knocking him if Misty Saar you're still up and listening. But I, our team needs outside shooting and floor space thing, and I don't know if we can hit a three, but the offense I saw in the highlights was all in the paint, which means teams would clog the paint if he's on the court with Lemmy, which is why I don't also think the Spurs might not go after Sar because he's not a three-point threat as of yet. I think if I think Rosafe makes the most sense. From what I've read, he can defend. He's a great three-point shooter. It would be an upgrade over Champagne. Mummy is uh, favorite non favorite non all star spur. Non all star. Oh man. Shoot, well, Sean Elliott made two all star teams, so I can't say him. Avery Johnson did not make an all star team, so he'd be on that list. Derek White wasn't an all star with us. I don't think he was an all star in Boston either, was he? Champagne misses the first free throw. You're not, they're not drafting Caitlin Clark. Well, I know you guys are joking about that. She might be doing very well, but uh, coming to the NBA is a different animal. The player's going to be much bigger than what she's playing with. And let's not forget, she's using a different size ball. The men's balls are bigger. It's actually a factual statement in regards to basketballs. I believe the guys play with a size 7 ball. The, the women play with a size 6. So if you've been playing with a size 6 ball your whole life, and now you're going to use a bigger basketball, I'd have to think that's going to totally screw up your game. I'm putting way much, too much thought into this. Our three-pointer from the corner is no good by... Uh, Dowden? Dowden? I'm doubting that one in. So Hot Graham gets in the paint to Blake Wesley. Wesley back to Collins. Collins almost lost it. Eight on the shot clock for the Spurs. Zach still with the ball, gets into the paint, and gets blocked by Mo Bamba. That was an elegant possession by the Spurs, by the way. A lot was not going right there. 
Malik Rose is not an all-star. So that's Champagne with the steal. He'll bring up the court for the Spurs. Draws it off to Graham. Graham with a quick catch and shoot three. All right, Devontae. I'm glad to see Devontae Graham getting some playing time. He's been riding the pine all season and has been nothing but professional, not complaining once that I'm aware of. And this could help boost his value to get with another team after the season because I don't think he's coming back here. We have a drive in the paint, and Martin loses the ball. It's last off the of spur. It'll stay with the Sixers up 26-24 under a minute to go. Ghost was going. Indeed, Isabel. If we got them over an all pick, would you guys trade down? Did she drag him? I did not know that. My favorite non-all-star spur of all time, Link Rose, and Speedy Claxton, and Gary Neal. You could, yeah, you know what? That's a good point. Victor Wambiyama has not made an all-star team. Deal for three. So, yep, that works for me. Victor Wambiyama is my favorite spur ever to not make an all-star team. 29-24, Blake Wellesley out to Mamu. Mamu's going to chuck the three. And that's no good. Got him with the rebound. Uh, Dillian didn't play great in the... In the college game, did he? Ooh, nice drive by Tyrese Maxey. Good. Jedi, good evening to you. Thanks for stopping. Oh, Jedi, I wish you were here Friday night. I'm sure you had to work or were busy. Our five-year anniversary was uh, Friday night. We gave I gave up five different things that night. So, Sonism? I hope so. I'm rooting for our guys to win tonight. I want at least two more wins. Graham with another quick pull of three. No good. Sixers ball. Shot clock is off. Benjamin, we, I think it'd be Sarasache. And now a foul on the Spurs with under two seconds to go. When are we going to go for 70? No, that's true, Mick. But March Madness, I think, is going to affect the... I mean, if he enters a draft, it is what it is. It's going to affect your draft value if you played bad during the college tournament. If you have a player, let's say, that was ranked 7th coming into March Madness, now April Madness, I suppose, Final Four, whatever, Final Two. That player's ranked 7th going into the tournament, and they play absolutely terrible in one or two games. And you have a guy that's ranked 11th and absolutely kills it and helps get his team to the Final Four. I mean, that's that player could easily leapfrog the other players. So, I mean, it, we'll see. I have no idea what the Spurs are going to do in this draft. We also have no idea where they're picking as of yet. So that's kind of important. We're going to end the first quarter. Spurs down 31 to 24. I'm surprised the Sixers, well, Kelly Oubre Jr. is killing us tonight. I thought this would be a little closer after the first, with the Sixers missing at least three starters. Are they out four starters tonight? Yeah, that's what it is. That's fair, Mick. Bruce Bowen, good one. Bonjour. Ah, Bonjour, no. Rico, punch yourself in the face for a dumb pit. Wow, Washington guy. What did he say? Oh, let me go for 70. He's, not, he's definitely not going for 70. But don't punch your face in, self in the face. Who is one Spurs player that is not an all-star, not one me, that deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? The Spurs Hall of Fame. I don't know who's in the Spurs Hall of Fame. I don't know every single player that's in there. Off the top of my head. I know the obvious ones. I, I can't actually answer that. Marco, Be hey, Marco Bellinelli is my favorite spur name to yell. The Zealot of Judah. I think somebody, might, I think somebody mentioned DL at the killer. But I might be wrong. Matt Bonner is Sean Elliott not in the Spurs Hall of Fame? And Sean Elliott was an All Star for the record caps lot. For anybody who knows, Sean Elliott was a two time All Star. Patty Mills is a good one. Okay, we're going to get that forty points, twenty rounds, thirteen assists, and ten blocks there. 40 points, 20 rebounds, and 13 assists in 10 blocks. I would love to see that. We need to add Jalen House from my, my Lobos, Eddie House's son, and Jamal Mashburn Jr., also from the Lobos Mid Range Artist. And I thought well, I figured Jamal Mashburn's son was Jamal Mashburn Jr. I do remember Jamal. He played for he played for the Mavericks, right? Jamal Mashburn? But he played for a few teams. I want, I want to say he stopped with the play with the Mavericks at some point. I can't remember all the teams he played for, but he, he, he moved around a little bit. Go achieve only his first year. Hopefully you all had a wonderful weekend. It went by very quick. I not ready to go back to work tomorrow, but who who usually is? Parker did Brent very dirty. 
Ah, <sighs> second quarter. Yeah, this there's only four Spurs games left after this. Season's almost over. It feels kind of weird. Like my whole week is just gonna open right up instead of you know hanging out with you guys three times a week, four times a week, two and a half hours a pop. No pun intended, Gray Popovich. Um, all of a sudden, my schedule is just going to be wide open. I don't know what I'm going to do. Sunday to Tuesday. Wait, you have a three-day weekend? Every weekend? Ah, uh, the other Judah. <laughs> Fair enough. An alley-oop attempt, and it's broken up by Wemby, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll stay with the 76ers. They have 10 on the shot clock. Eva Longoria. Well, there you go. Spurs have four turnovers. The Sixers have one. We have three points off the turnovers. The Sixers have nine. That's a six-point swing. That's almost the difference in the game. I work Wednesday to Saturday. Four-day work week. Not bad, Victor Wimbayama. I used to have a work week like that when I worked for Geico way, 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 way back in the day. Sixers ball, seven on the shot clock. Step back three is going to be just a little short by Tyrese Maxey. Sixers get the ball back. And he's going to get fouled by Zach Collins. Ball's going out of bounds. And I didn't see through that off, tried to throw up a Sixers player. That might have been Devontae Graham, but the ball's going to stay with the Sixers and now foul on Zach. Willie Anderson, Lake Roach should be in the Hall of Fame. Willie Anderson. He never quite pinned out to be the player that we wanted him to be, right? What an interesting, interesting starting lineup that was briefly for the Spurs. David Robinson, Terry Cummings, Sean Elliott, Willie Anderson, and Rod Strickland. Two free throws coming up for Buddy Heald. I saw that. I'm not really sure the big three is dragon. My girlfriend told me about it. I don't believe any player in the WNBA makes three million a year, do they? So, I mean, she, she should take that. Spurs versus Wolves for the France game next season. Wendy versus Gobert makes sense. So, yeah, sure. First free throw is good. Jedi says she misses the 14 to 16 team. Those are my favorite years watching the Spurs. Don't get me wrong. I like the mid 2000 era, but I was too young at the time. I graduated high school on 16. Jedi, I graduated in 95. So uh, it's a few years between us. My favorite time of this, I mean, favorite Robin's whole career. I loved watching that. I, obviously, you were too young for that. Uh, I'm guessing actually probably Jedi missed most of the Robinson era, if not all of it. Graham's going to drive the ball, gets over to Collins. Collins into the paint. Euro step layup. Good. And one. Okay. 33-26. The entire WNBA doesn't even make $3 million. You might not be far off, Caps Lock. No, I mean, serious salary-wise, there's eight teams. I don't know how many players there are a team. If it's like 12, and the, if, like I think the high end of the salaries are like a quarter of a million. I could be totally wrong, though. I, I don't know the salary structure over there. I'd rather not get into it because we don't want to start opening that can of worms. But three million to play in the, the big three thing or whatever it is, she should do it. Sixers ball, Mobama in the paint over Collins, gonna roll off the rim, a fight for the ball. It's gonna go into the hands of Graham, and then he's gonna step out of bounds and spike the ball. <laughs> Very angry, stepping out of bounds and giving it right back to the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers. Ah, uh, he's right there. I. 241. Oh, is it 241 the highest? All right, Dragon. I guess I was actually close. I said 250. Good morning, Jay. Thank you for stopping in. And the pass to Tyrese Maxey. He's going back door. Gets the reverse layup. It's 35-27. Under 11 minutes to go. In quarter number two, Maxey with eight points for the Sixers. Kelvin Johnson over to Collins. And Collins, that might have just went through Collins' legs. That's another turnover for the Spurs. Maxey sprints down the court. Layup good. Spurs down by 10. Wow, the 76ers are taking two of us tonight with no Embiid, no Lowry, no Harris. Six turnovers for the Spurs, one for the 76ers. Graham with well gets over to Kelvin from one hand man to the other. Kelvin drives in the paint, misses, going to get fouled, going live for two. I do wish the San Antonio Stars were still in the NBA. I would rather, rather go to game, but I would definitely buy merch. The San Antonio Stars was the WNBA team, correct? Unfortunately, it started around 7 when we swept Cleveland that year. But I just watched it just for entertainment and stuff like that. But came more passionate about the team in the early 2010s. All right, Jedi. But yeah, you definitely missed the whole Twin Tower. You missed all of the Robinson's career, of course. 
that seems like more of an age thing, though. I mean, you just you, you weren't 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 old enough. Don't make first free throw. CB, thank you for watching from the Philippines. Top sixty-eight players in WA have a hundred thousand. Okay. Sure, Spurs should be playing angry. Even though Embiid's not playing tonight, he dropped seventy on the Spurs last time we played him. So we should want like a revenge game. Even though he's not there. Revenge anyway. I think I have heard, heard that in other overseas women's sports uh, basketball does pay more than WNBA. So that's enough about the WNBA. Let's focus on our Spurs who are down 11 with 10 minutes to go. Graham, quick pull up three. In and out. We start eating a lot of in and out burgers as Downton Jr. with the rebound. Downton still with the ball. One-on-one -on -one with Zach Collins. Starts to drive, gets into the paint. And will pass it off to Paul Reed. Reed's pull up from the free throw line is good. Wow, this is... We are getting beat on tonight. Ghost Spurs is right. <sighs> Come on, guys. Somebody step up here, really? And now foul on the 76ers. I just talked about in the video today how so many guys were stepping up. And tonight, kind of, kind of, kind of, let's both start by everybody so far. See you, Bear. Bear's done on the couch. I'm going to hold my cables, make sure he doesn't pull anything out as he gets up. Wemby is resting a little Alright, bear off to Never Never Land. Two fouls on Zach. ATM? That's about normal. Duncan made you become a Spurs fan. Okay. Tim Duncan was your gateway to San Antonio. And a technical, I think, on somebody. Tyrese Maxey just shot a free throw. We're now 14. Is that what Collins got teed up for? Seriously? He was talking to Tyrese Max and gave him a little, you know, like, you know, like, you know, da da da, nice shot or whatever, whatever it was. He gave him a little tap on the chest and he teed him up. What a pansy lead this has turned into if we're going to team tactical on that. Uh, Edu? Uh, what could say the chemistry between Wemmy and a lot of his teammates has not been on yet? Certainly was improving with Devin Vassell and Devin out for the year. We're now 14 at Sixers Well, This is getting ugly in the second quarter. Maxi pull up Jay. That's an air ball. Speaking of ugly, Kelvin with the, I guess we'll call it a rebound. Ah, bam, bam. No, 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 no. You're on the light. You're on the light. Come on. Shoot. I got to get. You are all in the court now. All right, buddy. All right, there you go. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Yes. A little technical issue. My clock is way ahead. Uh, having a dog in the house. <laughs> Didn't rise, the uh, the light cord was crossed over his bed, so that's on me, and he went and lay down. Played right on the cord, and the light just, whoop! There it was going. About to fall over. You're okay. You can go lay down, buddy. All right. Knock at Brandon. Three from the corner. Good. Looks like he didn't miss anything. What happened? We're down by 11, Benjamin. It is Sixers well. A drive into the paint, and the layup is good by Buddy Heald. Sorry. Well, I won't make that mistake again, will I? Kelvin in the paint. Runner is going to bounce around and roll in. 45-34. Oh, wow, yes. Robinson was ripped. Sixers ball, 45-34. And wide open for three. He'll take the three and he'll miss the three. Paul Reed, that was an in and out burger. Spurs ball Trey Jones to bring it up. Gets it out to Devontae Graham. Running the old two point guard system right now. Graham in the paint. Throws up the layup. No good. Collins with the follow up. That is good. All right. Back down to single digits 45 36. Seeming he was. 
Uh, David took it, made me a Spurs fan. I see that, Stephen. Zach with seven points now. It does have two fouls from what I hear. Tyrese Maxey with the ball out in three-point land. We'll get it into Reed. Reed in the paint. Throws it up. Wow, just outside the reach of Zach Collins, 47-36. Avery Johnson's voice made you a Spurs fan. Nice one, Bean. We have a timeout. Spurs are down by 11. Uh, maybe Coyote. No one to fall off the couch. Timeout. We're down by 11. Yeah, we were getting by destroyed by Ubre in the first and Maxi in the second. Down by 11. I got to think Wemby's going to be checking back in any minute and playing the whole, like, I would think the rest of the second quarter. Avery was slick Rick. If Avery, Avery was slick Rick, who was Dougie Fresh? No, I'm not a Kokichi. Well, I, I have no interest, if I'm being honest. I mean, I'm glad some people are excited about it. I am not one of those. Kind of the prove you can win without Wemby. Wemby's playing tonight, though. He's just not playing right now at the very moment. And a timeout for another minute and 22 seconds. I'm just going to rest my head on, on headband Grogu because I can. Grogu's saying hi to Selena. Low points of the season, Stephen, for this one. Steven Z, there's two Stevens in there. Or Stefan. Lowest part of the season, easily the 18-game losing streak. That was a team record losing streak. And just, that was tough. As a Spurs fan, as a Spurs content creator, that was by far the worst stretch of the season. Aside from that, anytime the Spurs were getting blown out and it felt like the game was over, by halftime. I think we had one or two games this year we lost by 40. And those games just aren't fun to watch. They're not fun to call. They're just that they're not fun, period. What do you think? I Graham's been he's been okay. He's not coming back to the team next year. I don't see anywhere any chance of that. Trey Jones will be the starting point guard for the Spurs next year, unless they draft a point guard, then I gotta assume Trey will probably come off the bench. I mean, you're not going to draft a guy and in in more than likely be a top five pick to not start right away. Oh, definitely. Give the, give the Spurs a, gro a Grogu buff? Maybe, you know what? I think it's time for another of the most epic of boops. There you go, Coyote. We'll be back in the game, and a little jump layup at the rim. Not a dunk, but just a little, I don't know if that was an oop or not. But when he scores, 47-38. Uh, Edith, if I could bring the real Selena Gomez on the channel, I would. I seriously doubt there's any chance of that happening. I don't think she's even a Spurs fan anymore. This is this picture of her from like 10 years ago. Turnover by the 76ers, Spurs ball. Oh, that's that was rough too, Steven. Yep. Spurs down by nine. Let me back in the game. Be it to Branham. He's open for three. Okay. Malachi's been shooting a three much better as of late. And we definitely need a big game out of him. Spurs got two headbands on the floor right now. Malachi and Kelvin. That pull-up three is no good. I think that was healed. They pulled up for a quick three. Let me with the ball. Bringing up for the Spurs under seven minutes to go. Spurs down 47-41. When we get to the Trey Jones. Jones in the paint. Kicks it out to Branham for a corner three and rattles around and in. Branham on a 6 0 run by himself. Okay. Mr. Freeze is melting and turning to melt. Yeah. Branham is 3 of 3 from the arc tonight. And now a turnover by Kelly Oubre Jr. Spurs ball. Trey Jones brings it up for San Antonio. Back to Branham and to me, a turnover. Spurs on an 8-0 run. That one's threading the needle just a little bit too much by Trey. Exactly, Kokushiba. This team, when Wemmy's on the floor, 
is a completely different team offensively and defensively. When he's not on the court, our team is one of the worst in the NBA defensively. When he's not on the court, they're, I believe, top five. Ubre Jr. pull-up jumper good. We've had no answer for him, though. 49-44, under six minutes to go. Spurs down by five. Ubre with 14 points in the first half. Sheldon out the ball, out to Wemby. Wemby, open for three, going to take the three. A little short. Trey Jones with the offensive rebound. It's always fun to see the shortest guy in the court with the, the offensive board. Wemby with the ball, goes back door to Mamu. Mamu reverse layup. And he's fouled. Mama going to line for two. Your league pass has been in commercial for 10 minutes? What's going on there, Phil? Whoa, ref's a hottie. Wait, what? Robert? Uh, oh. Okay. It's a quick glimpse I got her. She seemed like she's attractive. Hopefully it's just... Whatever she is, appearance-wise, hopefully she doesn't make any bad calls against our Spurs. Mom left the line for one more, 49-45. Both free throws good, 49-46. Mama with 15 against the Pelicans Friday night. I'm pretty sure that was a season high. Ubre with the ball, starts to drive on Champagne, gets in the paint. Pull-up J is short. And Mama with the rebound. Get it up to Wemmy. Wemmy spins around, gets into the paint. Two big steps. Boom, short. Oh, my God. Good luck stopping that. Under dunk of justice. All right, so the freight train rolling right through the paint. And now a layup attempt by Cameron Payne is no good. Try to get it over. Well, I don't know if Wemmy got a block, but certainly effective the shot. Champagne pull up three. Spurs take the lead. Time out. Philadelphia. Robert, I'm always delayed. One, because I'm streaming the game. And two, because of YouTube latency. So those two things are not going to help you out. What a beautiful catch by Wemmy. Gets in the paint. One, two, throws it down. And nobody's getting away with that. Boom, shakalaka. Spurs broadcast is stuck on commercial break. I'm, I'm listening to the Spurs. Yeah, I have the Spurs broadcast on. That's weird, Biscuit Buddy. Yeah, I just heard Bill. That's I definitely have the Spurs broadcast on. Well, worst case scenario, you can always shut off the 76ers audio and listen to me exclusively. Spurs up by two. Uh, oh, gosh. When he comes in, we're uh, Kobe Shibo. Night and day. Jekyll and Hyde, apples and oranges. This team is... Does a complete 180 when Wemmy's on the court. Well, man, when Champagne shoots well, good things happen. I pause. Oh, thank you, Jesse. I think Miss TSR Sports does that when she watches on like NBA TV. She doesn't have the league pass, and you can't share it in different households, so that's that's not going to work. Um, I was going with this. Yeah. So I mean, she actually, she's crazy. You guys know she's in Portugal. She texted me a little while ago. She's like. I just woke up. I'm going to put the game on. Not watch. I won't be texting, but I'm just going to listen. I'm like, it's so late over there right now. It's like past midnight. And she's been hiking like miles and miles and everything. You're like, just who cares about my stream? Just just rest. Apparently she cares. I don't know. Indeed, Frankie, you're extra delayed because even I'm ahead of you and you're just, oh, I'm, I'm extra delayed. Hopefully I put it on low latency tonight and didn't forget to put it on. And I don't have a, no, I'm on low latency. There's also like extra ultra low latency, but that could cause the stream to buffer a lot. So I would be behind less, but I don't want you guys to have a chance of a lot of buffering. Oh gosh, Bill. Okay. I don't know what to say to that. Thoughts on the MVP race this year? I actually haven't checked in who uh, is on the top of the leaderboard for the MVP. I assume it's the usual Jokic, Doncic, those type of players. Um, I, I would think Tan was probably in the mix because the Celtics are the best team in the NBA. But I really haven't been following the... I've not been following the race for the MVP at all this year. I'm pretty sure Wemby's not in that top three. Uh, so, JBG, I don't think Zach Eadie's eligible for the draft next season. I only caught a glimpse of the Twitter as I was posting this video on there. From what I'm seeing, Zach Eadie's not draft eligible. 
Monica, good evening to you. Please email me when Baby Coyote gets to your home. I hope you enjoy him. He can't wait to get there. We'll both have a different Baby Coyote. Me and Mrs. TSR Sports, well, Mrs. TSR Sports, Baby Coyote. He has a little black jersey, and your Baby Coyote has a little white jersey. I think Champagne just went back to the locker room. He may have taken a shot to the head and is getting maybe some stitches or, or a good Band-Aid. Spurs up by two. A lot of you that, well, all of you that won Friday night during the stream, congratulations on the five-year anniversary. Everything should be arriving this week. Spurs on a 15-2 run in the last three minutes, and that's a mystery by, I believe, Payne. It is Spurs ball. Jones into the paint. Out to Graham. Graham's going to drive in the paint himself. Back out to Trey Jones. Which, by the way, I think I saw in like the last 15 games, Jones is shooting over 50% from beyond three. Jones with the layup attempt, and Mo Bamba with the goal, 10 basket interference. Oh, yeah, you that is definitely a goal, 10. He, oh, it's friendly fire, Robert? Ooh, baby coyote power. 53-49 Spurs on a 17-2 run in the last Austin 316. And a turnover by the Sixers. They have just... The Sixers are playing like the Spurs normally do in the second quarter. Bad. I hope Julian's okay. This is weird seeing our guys. This this run is crazy. 17 to 2. Whatever, Malachi bring it up off the Wendy. Demonte Graham now for three. No good. And it is Sixers ball. Cameron Payne will bring it up for Philly. Payne wheels it around. Batum back over to Maxi. Maxi. One-on-one -on -one with Trey Jones. Drives baseline. And we'll pass it out to Mo Bamba. Open for three. And he misses a three. Mama with the rebound. Trey Jones will bring it up for San Antonio. Out to Wemby. Wemby. He's going to launch a three. Spurs up by seven. I think my stream was a little delayed for some reason. Yeah, wow, I see why you're right. I was way behind. It's 51, 58. I just, wow. My stream was delayed for some reason. I just hit fast forward, and next thing I know, I was, I was live live. You might not be as much ahead of me as you were. 58, 51, Spurs ball. Fast break for the Spurs. Brandon gets blocked by the rim. We're going to have a foul. He's going to the line for two Spurs are in the bonus. Robert, I just jumped into the future. Jesse, good evening to you. I don't know what happened. I was looking at the thing, and I, I just... You guys are talking about how much I was behind, so I hit fast forward, and next thing I know... Weird. Brand at the line for two. First free throw, no good. Yes, uh, Caps Lock, I would say that. It's not me, it's you guys. You guys are awesome. I think we do, I mean, I can always compliment you guys. I think you guys are the best Spurs community on YouTube. I don't know how many Spurs communities there are. I see a million Wemby videos come up now. Every time I log into YouTube under this account, all I see on my feed is like suggested videos, Wemby, 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 and they're all by channels. I've, some I've heard of, most of them I haven't. They're not Spurs content creators. They're just calling Wemby. And I look and I'm like, dang, this, these guys are killing it with the, the views on these Wemby. Yes. Spurs on a 23-4 to run in the last five minutes. Iris Maxi drives. Dishes it out. And KJ Martin is blocked by Wemby. Out of bounds. It'll stay with the 76ers. Yeah, Steven. NBA League Pass is so wonky at times. Rich, so this team won't be the worst team in history in terms of wins. Toby, if they get two more wins, one of three blocks on the night, and a turnover or a foul on the Sixers, just immediately go back to the Spurs. The worst team of all time has 20 wins. And we have a timeout. This Spurs team has 19 wins. One win to tie the worst team, two wins to eclipse them. The 76ers team is missing a B tonight, as well as Lowry and Harris. So this is a beatable Sixers team. We also play the Grizzlies, who have been, granted, they've had a few wins recently, but 
are not good with most of their with, with them missing key players in their starting lineup. John Ramp being the big one. Steven Adams, I think, is still out for the year. And then we play the Pistons in the last game of the year. So if the Spurs win tonight, they'll tie the worst team. So if they tie the worst team, then they can't be the worst team. They're, they'd be one of the worst teams. JBG, that's going to be close to one of the best runs. I clicked on Let Me Dedicate YouTube, and it was obviously AI-generated AI content. Wait, there's AI-generated? Really? Paul Garcia on Twitter said Champagne got headbutted by Kelvin. Ooh, yeah, Ghost Wars go with right. Let's keep chucking the 76ers here in the second quarter. Jesse, I have the game audio at a low volume so I can hear it a little bit. I know there are channels that play the game audio while they're live streaming. I feel like if I do that, then I'm just not doing play by play. And I also worry that someday or that they probably shouldn't be able to do that play live game audio so those channels probably should be taken down they've gotten away with it for the last three four five well pretty much since i've started streaming so i don't want to take that chance and also if i'm going to do play by play i want the play by play to be 100 percent for me not me adding oohs and ahs in while bill and sean are doing the play by play i feel like that's just an easy way out not my thing but to those that do it hey whatever if your channel do what you want that's a miss by Kelly Oubre Jr. It's Spurs ball with under two minutes to go, 59-51. Wemby with the ball, starts to drive, and passes it right to Batum. I don't know what was that. I don't know what was happening there. Maxi for three, no good. And Wemby with the rebound. The one thing Wemby's going to have to work on a little in the offseason is he is a little bit turnover prone. Sometimes his fault, sometimes it's not. And that one there, I, I don't know what happened. Sixers are 6 of 21 from the arc. The Spurs are 8 of 16. Trey Jones with the ball right now for San Antonio. Six on the shot clock. They're going to get into Wemby. Four on the shot clock. Not giving him a lot of time. Two on the shot clock. Drives. Awkward runner. And he's, Wemby drew the foul. Uh, Mark Daniel, thank you for stopping in. Roy Garza, what I'd like to have right now is for all you fat, out of shape, Philadelphia potato heads, keep the noise down and watch what a real team is supposed to look like. Hit the music. By the way, Roy, Roy, just saying, I'm behind again. Gosh, darn it. First free throw is good. Oh, well. I didn't know that was a thing, Nether. Yeah, my, my share, he, I'm sure he will. I mean, let's not forget. We, I, I mean, I'm trying not to criticize anything in Wemby's game, but you got to call it like you see it. But the ceiling is so high for him. Let's not forget, this is the worst version we're going to see of him. This is rookie Wemby with the team around him that is, this is not a very good Spurs team. 60 to 51, although they've been playing really good lately. Kelly Oubre Jr. drives in the paint, stops, pops, misses the shot. Wemby with another rebound. I think Wemby has a chance at a 20-20 game tonight. Brandon gets it to Wemby. Wemby in the paint. Backdoor pass to Mamu. Mamu with the jumper. He misses at the rim, but he is fouled. Going to the line for two. What Would that really bother you if they were the worst team this year? Isabel, it's something... Just something in me. I can't describe it. The Spurs' worst team of all time is associated with David Robinson and Sean Elliott. But I feel like there's an asterisk, asterisk to that because David Robinson missed 76 games. I believe Sean Elliott missed like 46 games. So the two core pieces of that roster offensively were out. The key, the corner piece of that, that unit barely played. So I don't have a problem calling that team the worst team of all time because they were decimated with injuries or decimated with maybe some tanking at the end, whatever it may be. Wemmy's played all year for the most part. He's going to miss a handful of games. I just don't want his rookie year, even if he wins three rings, four rings, five rings with us, whatever it may end up being, I think it's going to at least be one at some point. But two for three, no good. I just don't want worse Spurs season all time attached to him. And the Spurs were already bad last year. They already got the 18-game losing streak, the worst of all time. And now you to Wendy. Boom, Sean Alaka. Under dunk of justice. And uh, what was I saying? I just, I don't know. It's just, just something with me. Wemby went 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 blocks on his way to a huge game tonight. Well, the Spurs blow out the Sixers. I don't know. Tyrese Maxey. 
Gets it into Martin. Martin will pass it out for three. And at the buzzer, Buddy healed. What a huge three for the Sixers. Hey, what do you know? Somebody hit something at a buzzer. And Spurs will just sit on it here for the last second. Yes, Robert, I think that was the kidney issue here. Uh, Sergio, new to the channel. I have been a Spurs fan for 34 years, and I have been covering the Spurs every year since this channel started. Now, you won't see live streams from the first two years. I did a soft channel reset. There was a lot of political stuff coming up in the streams at that time, so I just wanted to just kind of hit the reset. But uh, we'll have covered 77 Spurs games for the regular season this season. We covered all the preseason. We covered all the summer league. So in total, we'll have covered 89 games. And we would have covered 91. The two Nets games, I was ready to stream, but they're blacked out in my area because I live, you know, I live, what, three hours away from Brooklyn. So that's considered a local market, apparently. But uh, yeah, do Spurs analysis videos. Did this Nerd Spurs video today about when he's going to play the rest of the season as long as he's healthy. So we do a lot of Spurs content on the channel. Also a Giants fan. Uh, it could be either good or bad. New York Giants. And occasionally on their NBA videos. Also follow Kai Soto. I reacted to his game from this morning and decided not to upload it because nothing really exciting happened. A lot of the videos labeled it as bad blood and uh, crazy this. Then I watched the video and I was like, there's just one hard foul. Like, I thought Kai got in a fight, which is why I reacted to it. It was, it was nothing special about the... Uh, nothing crazy happened. So I, I got clickbaited for sure on that. I was like, eh, something crazy happened. So I did do a reaction to something else that I'll upload to... Well, I got to edit it. But somebody asked me to cover the NBA thinks its fans are stupid. And it's a video about how the Lakers are getting preferential treatment from the refs this year and last year. I did a reaction to it. I got to edit it up because there's parts there where I'm just sitting not doing anything. And I figured if I'm just like this, that doesn't need to be a video. So I'll take the... Right now, the 12-minute video, and I'll probably crop it down to about three minutes and just kind of get the key talking points. There are some interesting things the guy points out, though, but I also feel like he's a little biased because he's a Warriors fan. I forgot the name of the channel, but that'll be up uh, tomorrow. No Joel Embiid tonight, Juan. He is out. And yes, Coca Chiba, the Spurs have been very competitive lately. That being said, let's get to the halftime stats. And actually, you guys are talking about the Spurs being competitive. It's really since the Suns win that things turned around. The Spurs beat the Suns 104-102. They then beat the Jazz 118-11. The game I unfortunately missed because I was in Atlantic City, but I went. I was with one of my close friends, so hey, at, at a UFC, totally worth it. Wemby's career high 42, 4D as well. Uh, the Spurs beat the Knicks 130-126. Lost the close game to Golden State 117-113, and we are decimated with injuries at this point and, and moving forward. Gave the defending NBA champions all I could get and lost 110-105, beat the Norman Pelicans, who are in a must-win situation trying to maintain their playoff positioning, 111-109 on Friday. Right now, we're beating the 76ers, and granted, yeah, they're missing a bunch of players. You know what? So are we. We've been missing a bunch of players the last five games and still found a way to compete, and they're competing tonight. If they win tonight, they'll be 3-3 three and three in their last six games. I'm sorry, wait, no, no. 5-2. and 5-2 and two in their last seven games. Five and two in their last seven games with two games that they could have possibly won. So this team has definitely seemed to have turned a corner and they're figuring out how to play together. And yes, I know it's affecting our draft positioning a little bit, but you should be happy that these guys are coming together. And that should carry over in next season. I think we'll be a lot better. Don't sub to me. I love the channel name. That, that's cute. I'm sorry. Uh, let me go ahead and get in. Uh, oh, Ellie Simon's number three, but didn't get a transplant until after night. Yeah, I do remember the Memorial Day Miracle, Robert. The Memorial Day Miracle. That's where that all came from. And yes, thank you. Spike that like if you haven't done so. Fast refund your churches and delicious. Let me player of the week. That sounds pretty good. Anyway, I have not gotten to the halftime half stats yet. Please let me do that for you. Draymond Green's early ejection rocks Warriors. Oh, oh well, who cares? That dude, I'd say he has some anger management issues, but you know what? So do I. I got a lot I can work on. All right, for the Sixers, Batum, Batum with zero. Okay. Reed with six, Payne with three. Cameron Payne having a terrible shooting game, one of seven from the field. 
Man, I'm sorry he's playing so poorly. The Sixers only have three turnovers as a team? We have 10. Wow. Anyway, um, here's what it is. Maxi with 14 and Ubre Jr. with 16. So those two are really cooking us tonight. Ubre 7 of 12 from the field. There's Maxi in the second, Ubre in the first. Off the bench, Martin with two. Mobamba with three, having a rough shooting night. No, he's one of five from the field. Healed with 10 and Downton Jr. with zero for our San Antonio Spurs. Champagne with eight points and five rebounds, two assists and a steal in the first half. I got to admit it. He's been playing better. He's been playing better. He's That's been a big part of one of the reasons the team has been improving. He's attacking the rim more. He's shooting more. He's been playing solid defense. We credit where credit is due. Kellen has seven. Wendy with 16 points, nine rebounds. No assists or steals, oddly enough. Does have three blocks, so a certainly a chance at a double-double. I mean, he needs one more rebound. Uh, he'll obviously get that. Maybe an outside chance at a 30-20 game. 30 points, 20 rebounds. Trey Jones with seven points and six assists and six rebounds. Trey Jones had a triple-double Friday night against the Pelicans, didn't he? Or was it earlier? I think he had a Friday night. Trey Jones with a chance to go... Back to back on the triple doubles. And Malachi Branham with 10. Off the bench for the Spurs. Collins with 7. Mamu with 4. Graham with 3. Not having a great shooting night. 1 of 5 from the field for Devontae Graham. And Blake Wesley with 2. Wesley, uh, well, hasn't been the primary ball hander out on the floor. That's been Graham. He has no assists. But the Spurs have a monster second quarter, which we have not been able to say much this year. The Sixers were up 31 24 after the first. The Spurs outscored the Sixers 40 to 23 in the second. By the way, this first three-point shooting tonight, 8 of 16. They're shooting 50% from three. The Sixers are only shooting 30. That is a big, big difference tonight's game. And holy crap, we're killing them on the rebounds. The Sixers has they have 17 rebounds on the night. The Spurs have 33. 33 to 17. I might have said 14 by accident. The, the Sixers have 14 defensive rebounds. They have 17 rebounds overall, three offensive, 14 defensive. The Spurs have seven offensive, 26 defensive, 33 rebounds, 17. We've almost exactly doubled up on them, and they are up 64 to 54. That was a great second quarter by the Spurs. They have a legit shot of winning this game, and that would be the 20th win of the year, which means this would be tied for the worst first team of all time. To be honest, it would be my very first time watch professional basketball game. So, oh, Isabel, the uh, the game with uh, the the game with France. Nice. Just joined. No score at the first quarter and second quarter. Yes, Keith. What changed? I don't know. I don't know. Champagne, fuck <laughs> pony. What champagne ceiling? I don't think he'll ever be a starter long term for the Spurs. But could he be a, a Doug McDermott type of player off the bench with scoring, but better defense? That type of role? A 3D player? I think he'd be a very, very good player off the bench. And if he plays off the bench next year like he's playing right now, I definitely would be worth I think it's worth keeping him around right now. I know I know I've been very, very critical of him starting and not a fan. That being said, I would not get rid of him. He still has, I believe, three years left on his contract. Three years, nine million remaining. He's got an inexpensive contract. He's still a young player. We're seeing him grow right now, finally, defensively, and some offensive. You know, the offense is coming around a little bit. I'd keep him around. Now, if he you know he sucks after year three or regresses, then you move on from him. But right now, not hurt anything. Hornets are going to lose Spurs. Oh, are they dragging? Well, the Spurs haven't won this game yet, but it's looking good at the moment. Chatton said, Chatton Wade says, I'm out. I'll be back when you guys let them back in. Come back. All right. I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the third quarter, Chatton. 35 to 11 run. Wow. I think Champagne has been playing the role Pop had in most of the year, and now that role has expanded. If you look back, you've been doing the small stuff and executing all year. You might be right, Nether. Champagne is definitely a role player at best. If the shot knocks down, he's a server for I ain't. If, uh, if he becomes a Danny Green type player in that vein. Certainly a valuable asset off the bench. And it's going to be very interesting to see what the Spurs do with their roster moving forward. Because we do have a lot of draft picks. 
There's the outside potential that they do get two first round lottery picks this year. The Raptors obviously have to fall in the draft. If you're not aware, the Toronto Raptors pick this year is owned by the San Antonio Spurs, but it is top six protected. So if the Raptors win any pick between one and six, the Spurs do not get it, and that pick rolls over to next year. I think it rolls over twice, and then eventually turns into a second-round pick or two second-round picks. Danny Green is a much better shooter than Champagne, but Champagne is showing better defense, and he's still developing. He's only Exactly, he's very young. I mean, it's hard to compare. I mean, we know what Danny Green's ceiling is. He's been in the, the NBA for over a decade. Champagne, we're still trying to figure that out. Yes, we do, Kokoshilo. I thought Devin was supposed to be that guy. Uh, Devin's defense has not come around the way I was hope I would hope it would. I'm not saying he's a bad defender, but I thought he was going to be a guy that you know be in the talks for All NBA defensive at some point soon. No, not at all. ATM, my favorite player of all time, is on the wall, right there, number fifty. For basketball, it is David Robinson. For football, feel free to troll if you want. Some people make fun of me for saying this. I mean, there's worse people that could be your favorite NFL player than a two-time Super Bowl MVP. So, I mean, I'm just... There, there are worse. Yeah, Robert, he's been... I mean, it's, it's over a decade, isn't it? I don't remember what Danny Green's rookie season is, but it's... I feel like he's been here over 10 years. I mean, he was on our last championship team, so... Wasn't he in the league a couple years already at that point? Green has been in the league. Okay, my apologies. His rookie year was 2009-10. He's been in the league 15 years. 15. In the back of my head, I thought it was closer to 12. 15 years. Now, he barely played the first two years, which is probably why I, I'm not registering it. His first year with Cleveland, he only played 20 games. His first year with the Spurs, he only played eight. And then played 66 games in year number three, which was 2011 to 12. Wow. Wow. He's 36 years old. He's only played two games this year. He, they show him on the Philly Rock. Is he still with Philadelphia or did he get waived? I don't think he's on a team right now. Is he Spurs fan? Two games with Philly? Did he get injured? I don't know what's happening with this year. But he only played 11 games last year. Eight games with Cleveland, three games with Memphis, so back with the team to draft him, and he's only played two games this year. I don't think he's on a roster. I mean, age is certainly on the wrong... Age is now a factor for sure. Coming back to a previous comment, I really wonder who, who those play, how those Player of the Week awards are decided. I guess your team will first have to, be, to go 100% and win for the week, which immediately disqualifies us. Uh, Perry, 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 I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. I would think if you go two and one, you might still qualify for that if you have a huge week. Danny goes more athletic though at 22 years old. Ouch, that's worse, right? Danny Green got waived by 76ers when he traded away James Harden for the Clippers player. Okay, thank you, Free Jay. When we have zero assists right now, when we should have 40 and a half, I mean, I'd love to see him go for 40 tonight to tie his career high. I watch NBA Today, says Odyssey on there, and uh, he's on there all the time. He ain't playing much. Okay. I think he was on NBA Today. Dangers my enemy from what to call that bubble LeBron. <laughs> did he do that? I forgot that llama if he really did. It's been a good game. The Spurs up by 10. And how about Wemmy for the month of March? 23.2 points per game, 11.7 rebounds, 3.8 blocks. I think next year that's going to be this, the floor for his year two numbers. I think he's going to average next season 25, 12, and 4. He's gonna, I think he's going to have that type of season. But you guys may say, oh, that's not very much. I'm like 25, 12, and 4 is huge. For your second year, year 21, and will certainly be in, if not win, Defensive Player of the Year next year. Oh, you know what? You're right. Mama did blow some layups. You're right. Though that, I mean, that, also, that affects your assists. You throw the, the ball to an open guy 10 times, and those open guys miss all 10 shots. That's going to show you with zero assists when you should have at least probably five. Well, Jedi apparently is not in the league anymore. Wesley's defense is horrible. Blake Wesley 
was showing some good defense earlier this season, but he seems to be seems to have hit a sophomore wall. I don't know what's going on with him. He showed a lot of promise in January, I think early February, but as of late, yeah, the struggle's been real. But he was one of our better defenders off the bench. And I think that potential's still there. He's very lengthy. He's speed-wise. Good luck catching him in transition. He's only near two. He's got a lot to work on. His three-point shot sucks. He's a bad free throw shooter for a guard. There's a lot that needs to be worked on worked on in his game if he's gonna be a long time San Antonio Spur. Jedi, I don't know what he did. The chat's saying that he's been uh on NBA TV. Spurs finished the half on a 28 to 7 run. All right, the Sixers will start us off with the ball down by 10. No Embiid, no Harris, no uh, Lowry for the Spurs, no Sohan, no Bissell. And Paul Regas called with a charge as Wemmy takes the hit. Takes one for the team. No Bissell, no Sohan, no Osman, no Barlow. I mean, granted, Barlow barely plays anyway. But being without two starters and playing this was of late, most Spurs fans don't start saying the Spurs are better without Jeremy Sohan and Devin Vassell. Knock here, Brandon with the ball for the Spurs. Gets it into Wemby. Wemby at the elbow. One-on-one -on -one with Reed. Reed's got the headband power. Wemby drives. Gets into the post. Double teamed. Out to Branham. Over to Kelvin. Kelvin chucks the three. Back rim, no good. Grungai, good evening to you. Andrew, thank you for stopping in. Uh, Chip, I think, is very happy in OKC. Penalty, it's going well. The Spurs had a monster second quarter and a block by Wemby. Uh, goal 10. Wemby's saying that should be challenged. I think they're saying goal 10. Sean Elliott's saying no, it was on its way up. The Spurs didn't challenge it. Wemby drives in the paint, throws up the layup. No good. 11 minutes to go, 64-56. And Bram just gets knocked over. And then Trey Jones catches the pass. So, okay, worked out. Turnover by the 76ers. Over to Wemby. Wemby for three. Okay. There you go, Wemby. Uh, exactly, free. He's staying with OKC. Shel Kelvin got shark boy teeth? What? Gregory, that goal 10 was some BS. That was a block. One with 19 points now. Maxi gets over to Reed. Reed gets blocked by... That's a block by Wemby. Wemby on the run. Trey gets it to him. Wemby in the paint. Ah, couldn't quite convert the fast break. And we're having over and back. That's a turnover for the Spurs. Hello, man. Sour. Thank you for stopping in. I'm just going to sit here hold Grogu because he's, he's comfortable. City's in? Is he really? Oh, you're, you're hoping he goes in. I was like, I don't see him on the court. He's not on the court. Tyrese Maxey just launches a three. That was way off. Put back by Reed is good. Paul Reed with the bucket, 67-58. Chip did get paid nicely, Richie. Hey, it is what it is. We had a chance to keep him, didn't we? We didn't. Wemby with the ball. Drops it off to Brandon. Brandon will get it back to Wemby. Wemby spins around into the paint. Back out to Brandon for three. Man, Wemby would have like a ton of assists tonight if our guys could hit the shots when they pass it to him. Wow, Paul Reed pulls up for three and hits it. Headband power read. I gotta think he got I, I gotta think he got paid nicely. And I don't think we'll see City Sissoko tonight. Never say never. Another turnover for the Spurs. That has been our big Achilles tonight. This team's been playing fairly well, except for that facet of the game. We've had a lot of turnovers. And now a turnover by the 76ers. Chip Machine Gun England back in the 80s. That I did not know. I didn't know that was his nickname. 6761, call 911 because that's the time on the clock. Don't call 911, please don't. Malika Brandon with the ball, starts to drive, gets it back to Wemby. Wemby out to Trey Jones. Jones will get fouled. Defensive three second violation. Okay. 
Webby will be at the line for a free throw, looking for his 20th point of the night. I believe he has four blocks and about 10 rebounds. Webby with the deep breath. And you could, he definitely looks, just seeing him here, he's still very thin. You can tell he put on weights in the summer league, put on some muscle. Free throws good, 68-61. Uh, yes, Lance, Bear is here for the rest of the season. Miss TSR Sports is in Portugal. She is out there from... She left on the 2nd and won't be back until the 18th, I think. So Bear will be here for the rest of the season. Absolutely. Not that he's doing anything. He's, I'll show him again in a little bit. He's totally passed out. When he gets it to Trey Jones, Jones back over to Kelvin for an open 3. No good. Fight for the board. Calvin will get the offensive rebound, and Champagne will throw it down. Under dunk of justice. Remember when Julian's dunks used to get blocked by the rim all the time? I am so glad that's not happening lately. He's actually getting above rim. I don't know if it was a confidence thing. Like, dude, you're 6'9". You should be able to dunk with no problem. As Maxi flies in the paint, ball's going to roll off the rim. Reed with the offensive board out to Cameron Payne. Payne will get it to Reed with seven on the shot clock. Reed drops it off to Maxi. Maxi into the paint. Gets by Wemby. Nice job using his body to shield, shield the block attempt from Wemby. 70 63, eight minutes to go. Spurs up by seven. Trey will bring it up for San Antonio. He'll screen with Wemby. Toss it out to Champagny. Champagny drives baseline. And he's going to get blocked. Well, at least he attacked the rim, I guess. It is 76ers ball. Payne with the screen. He's open for three. He's going to take this three. Misses a three. Wemby with another rebound. Jay, good evening to you. And Ghost first go from the Philippines. I wish he, yeah, you know, I wish Wemby could go for 70 tonight, but probably not going to happen. Kelly drives in the paint. Misses. Brandon with the offensive board and put back. 72-63. Solid 37. I was hoping for 38. We're both very short of that. Spurs games board bear. Maxie with the ball. Kicks it out to Ubre for three. Ubre's shot is no good. Wemby with the rebound. He will get it up to Trey. 20 on the shot clock, play time. Gets it to a slicing Kelvin Johnson. Slicing Dyson. Kelvin, I think he took a shot. Misses the shot, and he fell out of bounds. It's four on five. And Ubre, I'm sorry, Maxi with the runner on the paint. And I think Pop's calling a timeout because Kelvin is, got a little dinged up on that play. Maybe he got hit in the grapefruits. I don't know. Maga Aid, uh, it's anybody's game. Ken B, good evening to you. Did Kelly get hit in the grapefruits? I didn't see where I got hit. Nobody likes getting hit in the grapefruits. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a laughing matter, but... All right, you guys asked for bear cam. There he is. Number one Spurs fan. So as you can see, that's my light right there. It's an umbrella light. I mistakenly had that cord that's plugged into the wall over his bed, and the bed was a foot back and a foot to the left. So the cord was on his bed. And he's a dog, so he doesn't know any better. So he got up on his bed, as he should, and went to lay down and laid on the cord. And next thing you know, my light was going whoop. So we had a little technical difficulty at the moment. You bet on Philadelphia? Ooh. Now, did you know Joel and Embiid was out tonight, uh, Maga? Because no Embiid, no Harris, no Lowry. No Melton as well. So the 76ers are missing some key players. So that's, I mean, I, I would never online gamble anyway, or just gamble, period. But that that's going to hurt their chances of winning. Game is obviously so close. It be anybody's game. Selena, so how are you doing tonight? When you're ready, come and get it. He is hard showing Bear's butt on cam. You can't really see his butt. He's, his tail's there in his bed. There's no butt. You want to see butt? I'll give you coyote butt. Casper, go! Why does it look like Bear has not moved an inch since the previous game? Uh, she has moved. He was here, Isabel. And you might not have been here when he got off the couch and then almost took out the light. I don't see what the 76ers have to 
tank for, I will say this, I was playing last night on my Xbox. A lot of times we have a, a game night on Saturday night with friends from Virginia. And I looked at Bear and he was not moving at all. And my heart dropped for a second. I was like, and then I looked and I could see it was just, he was breathing, but he was breathing slowly. He wasn't snoring. He was just, he was just, he was just out. He was in often never, never land. God, he got TP. He does. Yes, he does have TP on his butt. Cell seventy seven. We probably should cut that tag off, but I, I don't know. I, I don't want to. There, are you happy? There's a full butt. Boop. There, Coyote, move the camera. But he's a baby Coyote, so it's okay. Or maybe it's not okay. I don't know. Spurs ball. Seventy two sixty five. I did not Sanders, but I heard it had a great ending, but I did not see that game. The only games I really watch right now are the Spurs games, and then in the Kansas UConn game with Miss TSR Sports is when he launches a three, and that's an in and out burger. Tyrese Maxey with the rebound. 72 65, 640 to go in the third quarter. As Maxey flies in the paint, and I'm not sure if that was a block by Wemby or just a big miss. Sixers still with the ball, and now pull up three from the corner is no good by Buddy Heald. It is Spurs ball. Blake Wesley with the ball. I don't know, has Wesley checked in already? Gets it out to Kelvin. Kelvin open for three. Just off a little bit each time. Ball will go out of bounds, and it'll be Philly ball. Wemmy, 20 points, 12 rebounds, four blocks. I can't see the assist number yet because the emoji's on it. Both teams shooting poorly from beyond the arc this quarter. Spurs, one of six. The 76ers, one of five. As that's a hard foul on Tyrese Maxey by Champagne. He's going to go to the line for two. Wemmy with a double-double, though. Which he's averaging for the year, so no, no surprise there. Uh, zero assists. Well, I will say this penalty. He has hit his open teammates numerous times, and they done missed a shot every time. Charlotte and Portland both lost. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. His name is Mike. I thought that it's Nicholas Fatum, isn't it? First free throw was good. No, uh, my guy, please do not put the score in the chat. You might be a little bit ahead of me if you're just looking at a scoreboard or watching it on cable. Because of YouTube latency and I'm streaming this on my Roku on the NBA League Pass, there's generally a little bit of difference in the score. So please do not post the score in the chat. Otherwise, the Wrench Gang might time you out. And I don't want to see you timed out. Okay, so King, Blake has definitely hit a bit of a wall lately. Wemby with the right now for the Spurs. Out to Champagne. Champagne with a bullet pass to Jones. Back to Mamu. Mamu fakes the three. And kickball. Just out the Spurs. I'll tell you who's going to win. I guarantee the team that scores the most points is going to win the game. Guarantee it. Mine looks sucks too, so all good. My Spanish is actually abysmal. Well, vamos, pues, well, vamos. Alele, Spurs. Let me what a travel. That's another turnover for the Spurs. What do we have, like 14? <sighs> 13 right now to 6. And Maxi gets in the paint, and we just got 69. The Spurs are only up by 3. This has not been a good third quarter for San Antonio so far. I'm not sure I like the combination of Trey Jones and Blake Wesley, two point guards in, and that's... Can go out of bounds. It'll stay with San Antonio. Wemmy Defensive Player of the Year. Yes. I don't like this lineup. This this doesn't work for me. Champagne, Wemmy, Mamu, Jones, and Wesley. This, this I'm not vibing with this. Champagne with the ball right now. Gets to the tray. Trey will start to drive. Gets into the paint. Off balance runner is wow. That's a tough shot. Good evening, Leo. Thank you for stopping in. Okay, so this is not it. It just, I don't like having Blake and Trey on the floor at the same time. The teams are just going to dare them to shoot. As the ball's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be Spurs ball. Like, one thing that Pop talked about is the Spurs, you know, and have good spacing around Wemby when he's out there. And Wesley's an abysmal three-point shooter. Trey's gotten better, but teams are still going to dare him to shoot. Yeah, Mamu, probably going to dare him to shoot, too. Heck, he might just dare Champagne to shoot. Wemby with the ball, we'll drop it off to Champagne. Champagne in the paint, the runner. Okay, Julian. You heard me say dare you to shoot, and you did. 
76-69. Four and a half minutes to go. Spurs up by seven. They came into the quarter leading by 10. Champagne with 12 points. Off course, the shooting. So a solid game for Julian. Maxi drives in the paint. And... I don't know what the call is here, but Wemby's fired up. Another goaltend? Or a foul? There's no foul there, that's for sure. Goaltend. Second goaltend on the Spurs tonight. Wemby with the ball. That was on Julian, though. Speaking of Julian, he has the ball right now for the Spurs. Eight on the shot clock. Back to Wemby. Wemby, a couple crossover dribbles. Drops it off to Wesley. Back to Champagne. He'll take the three. Off the front rim. No good. Reed with the rebound. Four minutes to go. Five-point game. Kaboom. Wemby does not have any assists because his guys, the guys are not hitting open shots. He's passed it out of double teams quite frequently tonight. He should have, at a minimum, three, probably five at this point. Maxi pull up Jay. In and out. Wesley with the rebound. Wesley's going to take off up the court. Sprinting up the court into the paint. And he throws up the layup. And good, good luck with keeping up with Blake Wesley in transition. The flash. Trey has a legit shot at another uh, triple-double, by the way. 9-7-7 so far. Timeout. Spurs up 78-71. to And, man, he is. That's Blake Wesley's greatest asset. He is just so fast in transition. Just put on the Jets and forget it. Good luck keeping up with him. Seven point game. We'll take it. We'll take a lead. Right, Andy? More of that, please. Yes. Give us more of that. Yeah. Looking for my remote. A remote tank. Uh, did I say I don't want to work tomorrow? Did I say that at all? Yeah, I really don't want to go to work tomorrow. Blake is the sixth fastest dude in the league. Who? Do we have their 40 speed times? Lama, do we know officially per the NBA is the fastest player in the NBA right now? I honestly don't know. Leo, I saw somebody post on Facebook. That Donovan Mitchell thing seems like it's just kind of made up. I'm always careful on trade rumors. I try to be. I saw it was like by one of those NBA analysis things that the, the Spurs are going to actively go hard on Donovan Mitchell. I'm like, Right now, I don't even think that works cap-wise. We have like $20 million in cap. Isn't he commanding more than that? So we're not going to be able to pay him. I'm actually going to pull up his cap right now. You don't want to work now. <laughs> Andy, that's fair. Let me check um, Donald, Donald Mitchell's salary. Because we're going to have around 20 I believe. Donald Mitchell, at this moment in time, is making... If I can find it. I want that's a reference. He's making 33 million this year. He's set to make 35 million next year. So we would have to obviously trade a player, but right now, cap wise, that does not work. I mean, we could go over the cap. I mean, team the, the, the Dodgers are like a bajillion dollars over the cap in MLB, which is ridiculous, but whatever. And then he has an option for 2025-26. I don't. Why? I mean, he's a, he's a good player. He's a five-time All-Star. He's a scorer. I just, I just feel like we'd have to get... Why would Cleveland... Is there something... Is, is Cleveland moving on from him? Am I missing something? Is any important part of their, their roster trying to, like, you know, win something? Hurricane May, good evening to you. Oh, they are... Robin, they are totally bricking on Wemmy's assists. Big time. Let me, it's not Wemby's fault he doesn't have any assists tonight. Blake Wesley scouting report said that his speed is hurt yourself keeping up with him type of fast. Okay. I think Blake still has potential. He just he's young. And there's obvious potential there. The speed is clearly there. Just hasn't put it all together yet. 76ers ball down by seven, three minutes and about 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Maxi with the ball, one-on-one with Leslie right now. Starts to drive, gets in the paint, and gets blocked. I think it was blocked by Collins. It's going to go out of bounds. Spurs ball. Actually, might be a shot clock violation, too. Either way, it's Spurs ball. Yeah, Leo, I, it's tough with rumors because... 
on one hand of the Spurs content creator, I could cover every trade rumor. And that would certainly drive traffic to the channel. But a lot of those rumors are bogus. So I don't want you to start being looking at it as the like a clickbaity Spurs channel where every single trade rumor that's made up, I, I'm putting up here, and then I, and like 90% of them don't happen. I've covered the Trey Young stuff because it seems like there's some some gravitage there. If, if there's going to be a trade in the offseason, that seems like it could happen. Not saying it would, but that seems to at least have some smoke there. Everything else, we'll see. By the way, Collins is fouled, and I think he's going in line for two. Yep, two shots. Hurricane Megan, we are the youngest team in the league. Not one of, we are. I don't believe there's any active players on the roster north of 30 at this moment in time. I think everybody's under 30 with a ton of guys under 25. Collins first free throw good. The Blake on that team? Uh... Is Blake Griffin still in the NBA? And is he with the Clippers? Second free throw is good by Zach. Spurs back up by nine. Seems like a made-up story now. Now I'm glad I didn't cover it. If it seems made up, I'm glad I didn't touch it. I, I try to be very selective on what I put on the channel for us. And Buddy Hill gets tied up. We're going to have a jump ball. And, you know, especially with trade rumors. Look, I'm not knocking any Spurs channels because I know there's a lot of Spurs channels out there that cover trade rumors. So I, I always want to be careful make make it sound like, you know, I'm knocking anybody that's covering that type of content. I don't know who is. I really the only Spurs content I, I follow is your comments in the videos and the live streams. I'm being, I'm being transparent. But I just, I, I'm always trying to be very careful with trade rumors because there's like, there's a website, NBA Analysis Network. They love to put up, they love suggesting trades. And then all of a sudden it becomes a trade rumor. Like, that's not a trade rumor. That's just somebody suggesting a trade. Collins with the ball in the paint, layup, bounces off the rim, no good. Ball's going to get knocked out of bounds and stay with San Antonio. I don't think so, Ken. I really don't. Wemmy's 20th, 20, nice. No, uh, well, Keith, I hope we don't. 80, 71. And are they replaying this? Are they? Oh. Never mind, it's Sixers ball. Stand corrected. The original call is Spurs. It's now 76ers ball. Buddy healed with the ball for Philly and almost turned it over. Nice save by Mobama. Mobama with the ball, throws it in and misses at the rim. Mama will bring it up for the Spurs. Two minutes to go, 80-71. Drops it off to Blake Wesley, 16 on the shot clock. Blake's going to fly into the paint and gets it into Mama. Mama with the jumper, no good. Mama with the putback, no good. Sixers wall, 80-71, under two minutes to go. I don't see, why would the Pistons trade Kate Cunningham? He's one of the few bright spots on that roster. Exactly, Free Day, exactly. But he's 25th, 20 and 10 game. And that's apparently a turnover for the Pistons, so it's first of all. Collins out on three-point land. will drop it off to Champagne. I think Champagne's played the whole third quarter so far. Julian throws it over to Wesley. He's going to pull up for three. Adds an in and out. The Trey, see, the Trey Young stuff does seem legit because there's a lot of reports about it possibly happening at half at you know the midway mark of the season. We've seen Trey talking about maybe wanting to come here. We keep seeing reports that the Hawks are looking to maybe move Trey Young in the offseason. And it's just that one kind of makes sense, especially since the Spurs own two of their first round picks and a pick swap. So if the Atlanta Hawks are going to trade with somebody, they need draft capital. If they're going to be a bad team, they certainly would like their, their picks back, and the Spurs would make sense. Maxi hit that bucket, by the way. Collins in the paint, takes about 15 steps and turns the ball over. Philly ball. Under a minute to go. Downton out in three-point land. Drives on Devontae Grant. Stops, pops. In and out. Mobama with the rebound, and now that's going to be following Zach. Yep. Saw that coming. Cubby took two or three from the Dodgers super team today. Wow, nice. That's a team I'm hoping that doesn't win this year. The Dodgers. They are so... Way over the salary cap, the luxury tax. It's absolutely ridiculous. And look, I know the Yankees have done it. I have not liked it when the Yankees on it at all. Uh, this is 
it's, I would say, normal scoring game. Michael, I did not watch any of the March Madness tournament. I did watch the highlights from UConn's victory over, was it Iowa? Miss TSR Sports sent me that. She's a big UConn fan. So she said, check this out. I did see Klingon had a big game, although I don't think he fits in what the Spurs need right now. Castle had a big game. I know some Spurs fans are like, hey, let's grab him. But if we have a top top three, four, five pick, I don't think he's going to go that high in the draft. And a timeout by the Sixers. Couldn't get the inbound ball in. I love the energy the Spurs are playing with. I think the Hawks are going to blow it all up, Free Jay. I mean, I'm shocked at just how mediocre they've been with... I read the Trae Young's out right now because of... I think it was a surgery on his hand or finger. But I'm sure them, the fan base, the front office, everybody expected so much more with that roster, and it just hasn't come together. Maybe it is time just to blow it up. Kind of like the Jazz did with Gobert and Mitchell. It's, you know, it's like we keep trying this year after year and ain't working. They blew it up. I don't think it's going to be the weakest draft in NBA history. I that's a little uh, out of proportion. There's some good players available in the draft. There's a few players that I personally would prefer, but whoever we pick, I'll be rooting for them. The only thing I'll be upset with as a Spurs fan is if we draft somebody and it's one of those selections where we reach, like we do at Primo. Let's say a player is projected to go between 17 and 20, and we pick fourth overall, and we take that guy. That would upset me. That upsets me the most with any team I follow. The New York Giants, five years ago, selected Daniel Jones, sixth overall, when he was projected to go mid to late first round, and then we're taking him at six. Joshua Primo was projected to go somewhere in the low to mid-20s in the first round, and we took him at, was it 12? Those are the ones that kill you as a fan, when not only do you reach on a draft pick, but then when those draft picks don't work out, then it's like a double kick in the in the stomach. I don't, I don't think I want the Jonathan Murray back, Alex. I, I, I don't think so. Jeremiah, good evening to you. Not going to lie, refs this game are garbage. Well, just this game, Kokushiba. Just this game. Down with the ball in three-point lane and on the shot clock. Gets it over to Heald. Heald 101 Champagne just launches a three. That hits the back rim, no good. And the loose ball finally falls in the hands of Zach Collins. Shot clock is off, 80-73. to 73. The Sixers are in the bonus. The Spurs are not. Only one foul in the 76ers this quarter. Graham's just going to launch a three. That was, there's was still time on the clock. We didn't need that right there. The half-court three on the other end is no good. I don't know if it would have counted. Spurs up by seven. Michael, there's always a possibility. Oh, that that terrible move by the New York Giants. Terrible move by the Spurs with Primo. I had never heard of him. And I think a lot of Spurs fans had never heard of him when he was drafted. What you don't want... As a fan of any team, and listen, I don't follow much college basketball. I'm very open and honest about that. I have followed more this year than I probably have the last five years combined because I'm dating somebody that's a college basketball fan. So I've, I've followed a little bit of the women's and a little bit of the men's, but not a lot, but I at least know the players. That being said, when it's draft time, I take a look at the players that projected to go around my team's draft spot, except for last year. Wemby was an obvious at number one, but let's say the Spurs are set to draft. Let's say they're supposed to draft fourth this year. I'll probably look at the players that, not the guys that are expected to go one and two in every mock draft, but the players that are expected to go three, four, maybe five, six, seven. Maybe two as well. Players can drop some, you know, the, the player that's projected to go right there and taken by your team, but a couple spots before and a couple spots after. Because that makes sense, right? And I'm not going to research players that are expected to go significant spots after that. So Joshua Primo is the example we use again. He was projected to go in the 20s. So I did no research on the guy because why would I? I'm looking at draft boards, scouting reports. I'm like, okay, these are the players that are expected to go around this spot. Those are the players I'll take a look at and review and expect to hear their name at some point when the Spurs pick. And when you hear a name that you haven't, you haven't scouted, my reaction, like many of yours, was who? And that's my biggest fear for, for any draft with any team I follow is I do the who? And on this channel... It's been three who's. Well, one, one's not a who. I knew who he was. I just didn't think it was going to happen. That's Daniel Jones. I didn't think the Giants would actually pick him in the first round. There were rumors starting to swirl around slightly before the draft 
went live that that was going to happen, and then it did happen. But for the Spurs, there's been two who moments. The Joshua Primo, and then we drafted Lucas Samanich. That was the first year in the draft I covered. I had never heard of him. So when we took him at 19, I was like, who? I was familiar with Kelvin Johnson, and I heard he'd be a steal at 29, and we ended up getting him at 29. Kellen bit Julian. Uh, I don't know. You know, Jeremiah, a lot of things are going to affect this upcoming draft. Worry draft, but if the Spurs, and I don't think we can make a trade until after the draft, but if the Spurs have something in line, something legit in line with the Hawks, where they're going to trade for Trey Young, then I, I got to think, uh, best case scenario for the Spurs, I would think, would be your starting lineup for the San Antonio Spurs next year. It's Victor Wembanyama, Jeremy Sohan, Zachary Rasache, Demisel, and Trey Young. I'm not saying I want Trey, but you know the fan base that wants Trey and the fan base that wants a wing that can shoot and defend. I'm trying to put them together, and that probably I would think would be a playoff team immediately. I mean, we see how good Wemby is. I know Trey Young's not the most efficient scorer. He's like, what, a 40, 40, 44% from the from the floor, 35% from the arc, Wemby for three, good! But he's not going to be the focal point in the offense like he's in Atlanta in San Antonio. Wemby will. And that will take a lot of pressure off of him, off of him and give him more open looks will probably make him a more efficient scorer. He is not a good defender. That's not going to change. Then again... Maybe he can at least become a, an acceptable defender in San Antonio. Michael, yeah, oh yes, NFL mock drafts are all over the place. All over the place. I know, say to about DeJounte Murray, trading him got us a boatload of picks from Atlanta. If they blow things up, those picks are going to be very valuable. We have two free throws coming up for Kelly Oubre Jr. Missed the first one, but... In trading DeJounte and Derek White and Jakob Pertl and Josh Richardson and so forth and so on, and, and legendary Brent Forbes, the Spurs landed Victor Wimbiam. So while I've not agreed with all of Brian Wright's draft picks per se, it put it in the position to get Wemby. Ball don't lie. Both free throws no good. Bonjour to you. Thank you for stopping in, Arno. Spurs ball up by 10. They have a legit shot at winning this game. When we get the ball to Trey Jones, Jones in the paint layup is no good. There's another assist that does not happen for Wemby. And now fell on Kelvin. I, you know, he might, Alex. I, Najanti had a pretty rough upbringing, didn't he? Like, didn't he? Was any one of those, you know, kind of hung? I, I, don't want to go too much, but was he like into like the gang stuff when he was growing up? Growing up, or did he live in a rough neighborhood? I feel like I've read one of those things. Um, a tough upbringing, and you know, that takes a long time to recover from that. And he's still a young man in his twenties. Believe me, I'm 46. I have stuff that happened in my childhood that I still am not 100 over. And I'm old enough to be Dejounte's dad. Just some things stay with you, no matter how hard you try. You learn how to cope with them and how to handle them, but still. I mean, I could probably say the same thing a lot about me. There's probably a lot of anger in me uh, for things that have happened. I don't show it on the stream. Well, now you do see it on the stream. Sometimes it trolls. It comes out a little bit and flashes there. I try to try not to let it, but it just does. Wow, TSR, TSR uh, Tony Robbins here. Uber pull up jumper, no good. Kelvin with the rebound. Spurs ball up by 10. Under 11 minutes to go. You throw it down to Wemmy. Try to get a fast break. Wemmy throws it off the back of the rim. He's trying to save the ball. That was not the best sequence. And Uber with the layup. Eight point game. Herb Jones are up. Trade a pick for either of them. I don't see us trading for players. Trey Young's really the only one. I think that's a legit possibility in the offseason. Wendy's going to take a three from near the corner. Okay. Um, I don't like him firing a bunch of threes. But he's making them. DJ did have a rough use. Okay. Wemby with 26, I just heard. And wow, what a move by Ubre to just get it by Wemby with the layup. 86 77, 10 minutes to go. Oops. Let me fix that. I think Bear did that. You guys couldn't see that. Towel's all messed up behind, behind Selena. Vassell's a shoot first player, that's for sure. 
Trey Jones, corner three. And it's going to bounce off the rim, bounce off the backboard, bounce off the rim. No good. I hope Wesley improves greatly, Queso, next year. I, I would love for him to turn into a quality backup point guard. It'd be great if he could turn into the starter, but I don't think, I don't, I don't know if he's got that type of ceiling. His maxing the paint score, seven point game. Helena did not bite Julian. Wemby with the ball for the Spurs out in three point land, drops it off to Malachi Branham. Branham back out to Wemby. Wemby's open for three. He says he's going to, no, he's going to take a step over three. I, uh, Maxi gets in the paint, gets another layup. Wemby's three point shooting is on point tonight. He's five of nine, 29 points. Maxi with 32. Any Wemby can just go nuts and go for 40 tonight. I don't know. Gets into Trey Jones. Jones layup good. Hey, there's an assist for Wemby. Yes, Lance Bear is breathing. <laughs> It's always Wemby time. Spurs get the turnover. Brandon for three. No good. A fight for the board. Finally, Wemby's going to get the offensive board. Throws it over to Kellen. Kellen's just going to launch the three. That's way off. I could tell as soon as he threw it up. Kellen lumpy three. Yeah, Kellen's been off tonight. He's also been out for about a week. I don't want to defend him too much, but he's, he looked rusty. He should be attacking the rim more. Since the three-point shot's not falling, he should be attacking the rim. Sixers ball. Nice job getting that up and over Wemby. Who is that? Council the fourth. Who? Our council the fourth. I don't know who that is, but he just scored. He's headman guy. Our live ghost first go to you from Makati, Philippines. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, possibly free day in the future. Honestly, Phil, Wemby waits until the fourth quarter turn. I listen. What have I been calling Wemby all season? Mr. Fourth Quarter. Have I not? Instead of attacking John's forehead. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know, Kaboom, for real. I, I don't get why the team is all starting playing better basketball without Jeremy Sohan and Devin Vassell. I don't get it. I honestly don't. Thank you, Hurricane Megan. I appreciate that. Yes, spike that like. Don't forget, it does help the channel. The only thing we'll ask for from TSR to you, our, our Spurs family, our Spurs community. That's all we ask for. By the way, I got an email today, or maybe it was yesterday, for a sponsorship for, I think it was a vacuum or a leaf blower, or I don't know what it like. I, I like to read these just as a joke. I always delete them. I, I will never do a sponsorship again, asterisk, unless it's like the San Antonio Spurs. Asterisk, if somebody, non-sponsorship-wise, wants me to show that a new Spurs item came out, because I've done that once. I said, hey, new Tim Duncan bobbleheads out. I did not get any money for it. I was like, you know, if you just want me to say a Spurs thing's coming out, I'm fine with that if you guys are interested. But as far as, like, promoting, like, use code TSR Sports, I, I don't want to ever do that. I did it once. Like four years ago, I'll never do it again. It just, I didn't like it. And I really want to focus on having fun in the channel now. That's the most important thing to me. I always talk about this. I'll mention again, just having fun covering the Spurs and Giants, doing the music, which I'm in the process of putting the TSR Sports music next music video up. It's going to be a UFC fight song. It's going to be pretty darn heavy, but I love how it came out. It's catchy as all heck. Uh, just with the UFC, you got to be very careful with copyrighted content from them. So I'm just, I'm just going to have like face-offs and stare-downs as the video because it kind of fits with the theme. And it's all going to be in slow motion, maybe in black and white to avoid even more copyright. Uh, I don't want to show any highlights because I want to do UFC reactions with Miss CSR Sports in the future, so I don't want to spoil anything in the music video. Tired of seeing Spurs players not give Wemmy the ball when he's hot. I just don't get why you still think you're the guy. When you're... Well, you can't take every shot. I know, Coop. She is looking for a kiss, isn't she? You do? Yep, you're right. Rich, you're way too kind. Just take our money. I, Coca Shibo, I'm transparent on the channel. 100% transparent. I like Google's ad revenue. I truly do. I keep Super Chats on because I feel like if somebody wants to be, if somebody wants to donate to the channel, I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to take that away. People that, Can I donate to the channel? I leave that there, and that's all I do. 
and I enjoy doing the giveaway Friday night for you guys. Not giving away one thing, two, three, three things, four things. Doing five giveaways. Maybe they're really good to give back to you guys for watching, for commenting, for, for thumbs up, and whatever it is. And it made me, you know, think, you know what? As long as the, uh, as long as it's not going to financially strap the channel, I like to do more giveaways. And what I mean by that is you don't want to be in a position where you're losing money doing YouTube. You want to have fun. If you make a little scratch on the side from the Google's ad revenue, great. But if I can start giving back more, that's awesome. Spurs ball, Kellen from the corner, fakes the three, starts to drive baseline. He stepped out of bounds. And it's very easy to see him step out of bounds with those pink shoes and he's hurt. I think, yep, he's hurt. That's the left ankle, the one he's been having problems with. He Maybe he shouldn't be playing tonight. He's felt off. And... Nah, he's probably done for the game. Going right, hopping right to the locker room. James, I don't want to do a sponsorship. I hate watching a video where you get an ad. The part, you, you know, you're, you're, the YouTuber you follow comes up. We have a timeout. The YouTuber comes up, and then they go right into a sponsorship for however long. Usually at least two minutes. That drives me crazy. Uh, Biscuit Buddy was on here. He told me he was watching a video. It was an eight-minute video. Three minutes of the video were a sponsorship. I don't want, I don't want that here. Timeout. 91.85. Yep, he's definitely heading to the locker room, Veronica. Yeah, Case of King, they're shutting him down. He, he's done. No doubt about it. Absolutely done. Came in with an injury. Spurs have nothing to play for. Just re aggravated an injury. He's done for the year. How about if the Game 7 on the NBA Finals, you do a giveaway for the Duncan jersey if the Spurs win games? The Spurs aren't in the Finals. Uh, Victor Wemiyama. That show the Spurs are better when he doesn't take all the shots and ditches the rock. Amazing analysis. I'm a little bit anxious about all these turnovers of Wemmy. Listen, it is what it is. It, Sven, he'll correct it. It's his rookie year. And it's also the team around him. What's hurting Wemmy is sure he's made some bad passes, decisions. He's human. We're not perfect. But teams are, a lot of times this year, able to freely double team him. And that's caused a lot of the turnovers with him not seeing the guard, the guard going back door and picking his pocket. When we get a more capable team around him, they're going to have to double-team him less, especially if we have a bunch of shooters out there. Good evening, Greg. By the way, since you guys asked about him, Greg, he's here. He's here for the rest of the season. T.S. Bear, look how excited he is about the Spurs. Look at him. Look at the excitement. Going nuts for our Spurs up by six. He could care less. I don't think Kelvin's gone next season. You're concerned about we concerned about Kelvin? Yes, Albert, I'm definitely gonna live stream the lottery. That was so intense last year, and probably the biggest reaction I've ever had on this channel ever to Wemby being, you know, to us winning number one all picks. Yes, absolutely. I don't think it's the last time we see Kelvin. I don't. His he's actually on a friendly contract kaboom. His contract gets smaller over the life of the contract. Kelvin Johnson got hurt. Just jacked up his left ankle. Christian, I've been a Spurs fan for 34 years. Midway through David Robinson's rookie year. That's when I jumped on board. And I'm very happy to say I did. It's been a fun ride. And uh, I have no idea how many people are watching. I try not to look at that too much during the game. Sometimes we peek at... Uh, last week we had two games. One got to 500, one got to 700. And once the Spurs start winning again... We'll probably get to the point where it's at least 500 a night. We might even hit 1,000 you know, at some points. My biggest stream of all time is 7,200 people watched me cover the 2022 NBA draft because I was rooting for Kai Soto to get drafted, and he did not. They did Sixers ball. Now I heard a whistle. Off the ball on the Spurs. Todd Blake Wesley. Osto dog. Spanish for bear. Uh, Coop Bear is a chocolate lab and chow chow, and he sheds like nobody's business. He is a shedder for sure. Drive to the paint and a nice job by Kelly Oubre Jr. It's a four point game. This is a close game tonight. This is really anybody's game. Seven minutes to go. Oubre with 22 points, six this quarter. 
Might be getting a small rest before he comes back in, and we need Mr. Fourth Quarter. The offense and defense are just so much worse as Trey Jones with a turnover. We've been turning the ball over a lot tonight. And a block by Zach Collins in transition. Nice job. Block Paul Reed at his Spurs ball. Mom will bring it up for the Spurs. Gets it back to Blake Wesley. We have three point guards on the floor. Wesley with the runner off the glass. Good. I don't like this lineup. Oh, no, wait. I got confused. Nope. It's Jones and Wesley. I thought I saw Devontae Graham out there. I did not. I got screwed up by the headband. Brandon, where it's Brandon and Graham both wore a headband, and it's screwing me up. Wesley with six points tonight, having one of his better offensive games of recent. It is Sixers ball. Council to drive in the paint, off the glass, and good. And I don't know who this Council dude is, but he just scored. Protect the lead, protect the draft pick. My biggest stream was one person, that was me on my other phone. <laughs> You got to start somewhere, man. You got to start somewhere. Zach Collins with the ball for the Spurs. And he's going to get double teamed and still has the ball. Almost lost it. Now he lost the ball. Gets the ball back. It's double teamed again. This is it to Trey Jones. Trey Jones with the reverse layup. Good. Wow. Zach was a, he had the fight for that one. Maybe Coyote fall him down. We fix him. Or attack the pandas? Okay. Jones with 13 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. Probably going to just fall short of that triple-double tonight. But still in a solid game. Kelly Oubre Jr. starts to drive into the paint. Layup, good. Spurs, he's been able to score at will. Oh yeah, it's WrestleMania tonight, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so King, I like Kelvin too. It's, it's... Yeah, I, I was hoping for a little more from him this year. That's a miss by the Spurs down the other end. That's another block by the Spurs. I think Collins with another block. Now Collins slamming the apparatus all fired up. 95-91. Oh, hey, good evening to you. I don't know what is more pathetic. My one-person stream or Zach Collins trying to play basketball. Wow. Wow. I'm wearing a Spurs hoodie, by the way, if anybody... I was wondering. I mean, it shouldn't be, a, shouldn't be a shocker at all. Sixers ball. Paul Reed drops it off to Maxi. Maxi is going to take a step back, too. Off the rim, no good. Champagne with the rebound. Spurs up by four with under five minutes to go. Hit the thumbs up, by the way, if you haven't done so. We're trying to get to 150 if we can. When we get checked back in, by the way. Devontae Graham for three, no good. And Graham uh, certainly not having the same effect he did in that Pelicans game. He went for 20 that game tonight. I don't know how much he has. Blocked by Wemmy. Council took it at Wemmy. Council, what are you doing, Council dude? Is that Wemmy's fourth or fifth block tonight? Mamu for three. Back rim, no good. Wemmy with five blocks and 29 points, plus I think like 12 rebounds. Double-double. The leading shot blocker in the NBA in his rookie season. And Maxi drives in the paint, throws it up, and in, and one. Well, welcome here, Wesley. Thank you for stopping in. Who's facing Roman Reigns? Is Roman Reigns in the main event again? That's probably one of the reasons I don't watch the WWE anymore either. I kind of got tired of him. I watched, I saw him beat The Undertaker in WrestleMania. That was it. I think Undertaker had already lost in WrestleMania at that point. Did the Undertaker lose to Brock Lesnar first? It's a one-point game, my friends. This is a good game, Sanders. Both teams missing players. Man, your fortune teller got us off the place. 95-94. Four minutes to go. It is Spurs while Champagne getting trapped. Gets it over to Graham. Eight on the shot clock for the Spurs. Devontae. Is he just going to chuck a three? Long two. Stepped on the line. He's on the line. That's a two. Is that an end one? No, they're calling the three? He, he was all over the line, wasn't he? That's clearly a two. Wasn't that two? Am I missing something? That his foot... It's an and one. I guess that was a three. I thought he was, okay. 
If I wanted to be a TSR mod, that would make my entire career. I'm already working on so. Victor Ramayama soon. I thought that was a... T they just changed it. I was going to say, he was, how was that a three? They just changed it. Like, that wasn't even close. They, they, they changed it to a two. Good evening, Zach. Never fear. Zach Attack is here. Zach, your, your item you won Friday night has been sent via Amazon Prime. Everybody who's in the chat that won Friday night, your items are on the way. It will be there this week, barring Amazon not getting them to you. I don't know why the bugs would be actually choking. 98, 94, three and a half minutes to go. Batum for three. Oh, boy. When they give you an extra point, don't ask. I knew that point was not sticking around, though, Arno. I knew it was not. His foot, his foot was like... Graham's foot was like 10 inches over inside the three-point line. There was no way that was sticking. First ball, Mama with it. Over to Devontae Graham. And on the shot clock, gets it into Wemby. Wemby at the free throw line. Back to Mama. Mama going in and throws it down. It was a light dunk, but it's a dunk. Under dunk of justice. Tell you, if the Spurs could shoot, one would have like seven or eight assists tonight. 197. Well, I guess the 76ers are going to be a monkey's uncle. That's a drive. Maxi misses. Foul going to the line for two. I did not expect a great game out of this game tonight. But the Sixers are resting Embiid, Harris, and Lowry. I'm not sure why they're resting them all. The Spurs are without Sewing and Macell. They've been already ruled out for the season about, uh, about a week ago. Ish. We are getting close to 150 thumbs up. You'd like to meet some new Spurs fans, Sixers fans. How can you get more in here? Well, it's we're at the mercy of the YouTube algorithm. The thumbs up brings the views. You can please hit the thumbs up. Get us to 150, 175, whatever it may be. Let's make it happen. The Spurs win. We got to get to 200, don't we? Got to get to 200. Go, Spurs, go. Go, Spurs, go. Giannis demanding a trade? It doesn't seem like that's in his character. Maxi's second free throw is good. It's a one point game. Embiid was scared of Wemby. Maybe he's scared that Wemby would try to get revenge since Embiid put up 70 the last time the Spurs played him. Spurs ball. If you are just coming in, Kellen Johnson twisted his ankle a few minutes ago, went to the locker room. He's not coming back. Probably done for the year. Wemby with the ball drives in the paint, and he's going to get fouled. Joel Embiid hit his maximum of games of 35. <laughs> Uh, Robert, I don't know. He's not wearing a suit tonight, is he? Non-shooting foul, by the way. The foul went me. Or is it a shooting foul? What's going on? They were just going to take it on the sideline, and now it's a shooting foul. <laughs> I say, it really looks like a shooting foul. Starbucks goes for his go. He goes for his go to everybody. And if you ain't done with the San Antonio Spurs, we got two words for you. Sucker! Wemby makes the first free throw good, 101.99. Brown, I think Zach went with the, the basketball cards. I thought for sure Baby Coyote would be uh, picked the most. It was uh, <laughs> Wemby with 31 points, makes them both. Veronica, you're the only one that picked Baby Coyote. You have good taste in coyotes. Uh, Arman Sidhu, thank you for stopping. He said, Philly's going to freaking win. We'll see. It's a close game. And blocked by Wendy. Maxi took it at him. No, no, no. As far as on the fast break, Brandon. Boom, shirt, Arlaka. Under dunk of justice. Timeout, Philly. Blocked by Wendy. Brandon with a dunk on the fast break. I wanted Baby Wemby, but I want... Oh. Okay. Is Baby Wemby out of stock on Amazon? I feel like I should order a Baby Wemby, shouldn't I? By the way, Dragon, you graciously offered to send me some extra Magic the Gathering cards on the Twitter chat. You said, hey, you know, for hooking me up, I'd like to send you something. Uh, there's nothing in particular that I would want from back in the day. But if you have any extra worms... 
Um, the WRMS worms, the big giant creatures that generally suck. Uh, angels or demons. Those are my three favorite creatures in Magic Gathering. I have like a giant stack of those creatures. Certainly by, by means, if you if you want, don't feel obligated to send those this way. Those older cards are generally don't have any value. The only thing I would say, do not send, of course, if you have anything from Alpha or Beta. I would feel absolutely terrible if you sent anything from that. I don't know what those cards look like. I know they're black bordered and they look old. And then um, the Legend set, which is like a little circle, 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 like three little circles, but they get smaller. I know those cards are very rare. So if, I don't think there's actually, those will all be Legends. I think those are just Legends only. But you asked, so it, it popped in my head today. I better throw it out there. Yes, and go ahead. I should get a baby Wemby, though. Wouldn't a little baby Wemby next to baby Coyote be great? I really should get that. 104.99. Hey, better late than never to everybody. It's all good. Yes, I go from, from craw Crawworm's age to the <laughs> yeah, Crawworm is the man. I got you, Omar. Another block by Wemby. I didn't even see who blocked. He we blocked, but that's what, number seven? 104.99. Spurs have 11 blocks as a team. The Sixers have three. I'm sorry I didn't see who we blocked on that one. Spurs up by five. A minute 45 to go. Wemby with the ball. Gets in the brand of brand with the paint. Layup good. Seven point lead for the Spurs. Get a baby Wemby, Raymond. All right. I probably should. Maxi for three. He says, hold on. We're not done yet. 106, 102. Oh, 101. They changed that to a two. Okay. Stand corrected. Malachi Brandon with the ball. Pick and roll with Wemmy. And almost turns it over. Saved by Wemmy. And Devontae Graham stepped out of bounds. Wemmy threw the save the ball. Got it to Graham. That was a bad pass by Branham. That's a bad time for a turnover. And that's been one. This first should be easily winning this game, but they have turned the ball over a ton tonight to keep the Sixers right in it. Maxi runner, no good. Foul going to line for two. Defensive player of the year. Yes, absolutely defensive player of the year. I can't believe. It, it shouldn't be a discussion anymore. When he's leading the NBA in blocks, leading him in stocks, steals plus blocks, has more blocks than like the last three defensive player of the years combined. Yes, Gobert's on a better team. Look what's around him. Defensive Player of the Year is not a team stat. It's an individual stat. And in my opinion, sure, I'm a little biased as Spurs fan, but I think he's done certainly enough for not only Rookie of the Year, but Defensive Player of the Year. When he's on the court with the Spurs, they're a top five defense in the NBA. Maybe top ten. When he's off the court, they're bottom five. Not to mention the fact that Wemmy has a much more load to carry offensively than Gobert does. Granted, they're not going to factor that in. Maxi has 41 points tonight. Nice game. Trey Jones with the ball. This is a three-point game. Under a minute to go. Jones going to drive to the hoop. And he easily gets the layup. Nice job, Trey. Five-point game. Who else? Tyrese Maxi with the ball for Philly. They are in the bonus. Trey with 15, 7, and 9 tonight. Maxi's going to launch a three. He's got 44. Wow. 44 points for Tyrese Maxey tonight. Malachi Branham with the ball. 10 on the shot clock. They got to gotta get it to Wemby, don't they? They're going to get it to Devontae Graham. Graham for three. No good. Fight for the board. And Philly has it. How about overtime tonight? Anybody want overtime? Maxi with the ball to get it to Batum. Batum for three. Oh, no! Oh. So much for overtime because it's a one-point game. Nicholas Batum for three. He was open, and he hit it. Hey, props to him. All right, Spurs, out of this timeout, you got a Chuck Norris, the 76ers. Wow. Wow. 
That's a 76ers first lead since being up 49-40 in the second quarter. I'm going to move my water. Jace the Spurs hit a game winner. I don't want to knock stuff over. Philly sucks. I'm going to have to cover up the chat so there's no spoilers, my friends. I don't do it to be a jerk. I just, you guys sometimes are ahead of me. 109 to 108. This has turned into a uh, edge of your seat game here at the end because it's uh, no no easy game for the Spurs, huh? We are getting close to 200 thumbs up. Would love to get to 200 before the stream is over. I will plug the thumbs up again while we're in a timeout. Go, Spurs, go! Go, Spurs, go! Here we go. Nine seconds to go. Spurs ball. Spurs are not in the bonus. Julian Champagny will inbound it for San Antonio. And I'm going to say focus on the team. Julian trying to get in. Gets it into Wemby. And a foul. They call a foul. The ball was taken, but it's a foul. Is this a shooting foul? I don't think so. I think that was the fourth foul on Philly. Let's take a look at the replay. When he gets the ball, oh, he's getting uh, his man's all over his back. That's clearly a foul. That's definitely a foul on Paul Reed. Champagne will get the ball. Nurse was checking to see if they should challenge it. Paul Reed fouls out. I mean, Paul was over his back. I'm not all I hate touchy tic tac fouls, but you can't be on a guy who's trying to catch a pass. Are they challenging this? They're going to lose a challenge if they do. Timeout. All right, let me look at the chat. We got a timeout. No, no game is easy. We're back in another timeout. A one-point game. There is about eight seconds to go in the game. Yeah, foul substitution team. Yep. It was clearly a foul. I mean, I... I like to call it like I see it. I'm a Spurs fan, and my bias with on who I want to win the game, yes. But that that's a foul twice on Sunday, which just happened to be Sunday. You can't go over the back of another player on the inbound pass before the pass, gets, no, before the pass gets there. What a crazy game. The Spurs had, I think, what, around the minute mark, a, a five-point lead, a seven-point lead? And Nicholas Batum at nine, the nine-second mark hit a huge three to give his team a one-point lead. What happened? We gave up the lead. Right, let's see. What, Batum hit a three to take the lead. The next free, the next foul. Excuse me. The Spurs will be in the bonus, so the Sixers cannot foul. Well, I mean they can. Probably not recommended. So I'm going to have to ignore the chat for a moment. My apologies. I don't do it to be a jerk. Some of you are a little ahead of me. Back to the game. 109-108. Spurs looking for their 20th win of the year, which would tie them for the worst record of all time, which means they'd have a very good shot at getting win number 21, which would mean not the worst first team of all time. It will be Champagne getting the ball in again. we got about eight seconds to go. Champagne now with the ball. Looks like they're trying to get into Wemby. They'll get into Devontae Graham. Graham into Wemby. Over to Champagne for three. Julian, I was wrong about you all year, brother. Julian Champagne for three. Never doubted him. There's still two and a half seconds left in the game. This is not over yet. Wimmy with the ball, immediately throws it out to Champagne, and Champagne drains the three. I need a boop to yes. Good luck, boop, for the win. Boop. I never said Champagne, Champagne was trapped, Zenith. I will say, I never said that. I just said I don't think he should be a starter, but I'm rooting for him. Any, I'll say this I've said, before I'll say it, any spur I'm critical of, I always say I hope they prove me wrong. And Champagne's proved me wrong tonight. He's got 15 points, hits a huge three. Wemby with 31 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists. 
A lot of his guys missed open shots tonight. He he probably should have a triple double. Let's be honest. Would anybody up for overtime? Overtime here on a Sunday night. Let me clear up the chat. Two and a half seconds to go. One eleven, one oh nine. The Sixers are in the bonus. Paul Reed has fouled out for Philadelphia. Not that he would be on the corner in this situation. Batum's going to inbound it for the Sixers. Batum gets into the Maxi. Maxi with the layup! The Spurs are out of timeouts. They're getting into Batum with the three at the buzzer. No good. We are going into overtime. Oh, team. Good evening, Carlos. Oh, team. Here we come. Okay. Okay. Overtime. Overtime. All right. Whatever. You know what? I don't call it an overtime game. I missed the last Spurs overtime games. The last two. I missed the Knicks win because I was in Atlantic City for the UFC. And then the game against the Nets was blacked out in my area. So TSR deserved an overtime call here, didn't he? I'm going to work tomorrow. I don't have to work until 7 a.m., Biscuit Buddy. Four guards and Wemby. Was that our lineup at the end? Champagne? No, Champagne's a Ford. Three guards and a Wemby and a Ford. Well, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to do some magic with the timer here. Because right now it's set to re Whoop. Let's move OBS. I got to get five minutes on the clock. All right, there is that. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Now I got to edit this, and then this will be five. There we go. Five minute overtime, my friends. This turned out to be a good game. All the Texas teams are in overtime today. Hmm. The Mavericks and Rockets as well. Going through HEBC <laughs> Blind. Glad Spurs aren't getting blown out and are actually putting on a uh, Melistic, they've been so competitive the last five games. Won three of their last five. Gave the Warriors everything they could handle. Gave the defending NBA champion, Denver Nuggets, everything they could handle. And now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Sixers. And yes, I know Embiid's out tonight. I know Harris is out tonight. I know Lowry's out tonight. The Spurs are missing Champagne, are missing Sohan, Bethel. Kelvin probably shouldn't have played tonight. If you haven't heard, Kelvin Johnson... Re-injured his left ankle, hobbled off the court, went to the locker room. Probably done for the year at this point. I can't imagine any scenario where he, where he comes back. Doug Dixon, way good evening. What's going on? What are you guys wanting to get for Trey Young? I'm asking for a friend. Um, ham sandwich, bag of Doritos, large Coke, no ice. Uh, maybe a uh, an apple pie. And all seriousness, the Dixon way. Actually, uh, you're a Hawks fan. I don't know if you've, you've caught it in the, the chat, but I would be interested in maybe doing a collab with you at some point on what you would want for Trey Young. And I could talk to you about what I'd be willing to give if we were both playing GM for the Hawks and respectfully the Spurs. I guess that could be done over like a uh, a stream yard or something. Probably just a you know, short seven to eight minute video. But I, I think I'd really like to talk to somebody that's a Hawks fan because if you guys blow it all up, I would think you're going to want those two first round picks back and that pick swap plus bear cam okay there's tsr bear or ts bear if some of you call him he's still in the same exact position he was in the uh, second quarter third quarter fourth quarter and now overtime the spurs are three and one in ot this season and while the sixers win the jump ball an immediate fast break for kelly Oubre jr Clock malfunction, like I got a camera malfunction. Got to call. All right, Dixon, Way, are you on the Twitters? They took another block away from Wemby. Stat line showed seven, now it shows six. Pat McCaff, thank you for stopping in. By the way, if anybody's a Spurs fan that's new to the channel, I'm a huge San Antonio Spurs fan. Have been for over thirty years. We live stream almost every game. We would have done seventy nine regular season games this year if not for two stupid Nets games getting blacked out in my area. Covered all the summer league, all the preseason. So if you're looking for a place to hang out for Spurs live streams, talk to fellow Spurs fans, or even talk to me, you don't need a channel membership or any nonsense to uh, 
you know, be able to talk to me free on the Twitter. If you want to holler at me, you feel free to do so. And just would love to have you part of our Spurs community. You're on the Twitter six and okay. Give me a give me a follow if you can, and I'll follow you back, and then I'll message you on there and what we can get together. I would love to work with you. You seem like a really cool dude, and uh, I haven't worked with somebody in a while, so it'd be interesting to talk to somebody that's a fan of a, a non Spurs team. 113 on Trey Young with the layup over time here, my friends. Need OT on the scoreboard. I have OT on the scoreboard. Cowboy X Factor, OT. Right there. Got three pointers, no good. Wendy with another rebound. Trey Jones will bring it up. Hey, smoke him if you got him. David Coyote, you can't watch games looking at the ceiling. Trey Young, what's up, Trey Young? I Trey Young on my mind now. Trey Jones <laughs> drives into the layup, drives into the paint, and misses the layup. Wow. And now a nice shot by Tyrese Max to get into the paint, gets the layup. It is 115 to 113. Wow. All right, Zach. Uh, yes, Arna, I went to UFC Fight Night in Atlantic City the previous weekend. It's the fourth UFC I've gone to in the last year, roughly. I've become a big fan of going to live UFCs with my buddy Jeff. Wendy with the ball gets double teamed, throws it over to Malachi Branham. Branham back to Trey Jones. Jones with three on the shot clock, drives baseline, layup, rolls off the rim. Ah. Dang it. Maxi with the ball again. He's had a huge night. I think he has 40. Does he have like 44, 46 points? Probably going to go for 50. Maxi starts to drive at the day, at the free throw line, kicks it out to Ubre. Ubre at one on one with Champagne. He takes a long three. Total brick city. Wemby with the board. 115, 113, three minutes to go in overtime. Wemby will bring it up for the Spurs. Fakes the three out to Brand now. We'll get it back to Wemby. Wemby at the rim. Boom, circle walker. Whoops. That's what I meant to do. Thunder Dunk of Justice. Oh, uh, let me. Maybe Kyrie's ring for the ceiling to beat the wall. And a turnover by the Sixers. First ball, two and a half minutes ago. All right, thank you, Dixon Way. Appreciate it. Wendy with the ball. Takes a mile long three. Air ball. I didn't like that shot. I didn't like that one. There was a lot of time on the shot clock. We did not need that right there. Especially with how dominant he is in the paint. I think sometimes Wemby, with all the respect, channels his inner Steph Curry, and he's not there yet. That's not the shot we needed. Yeah, Boudet, he did rush that. That one we did not need at that moment. Boudre drives in the paint. And who scored the Dallas? KJ Martin with the bucket in the paint. He dished it off to 117, 115, two minutes to go. Spurs down by two. Martin with four points for the 76ers. Two minutes rebating. Trey Jones with the ball right now for the Spurs. Gets it into Wemby. Wemby back to Jones. Jones tosses it over to Graham. Graham back to Brandon for three. Spurs take a one-point lead. The pop get mad? I don't know. Malachi Brandon's been shooting the three so much better as of late. And we're really looking for that three-level scoring that we draft him for. He's four of six from three-pointers tonight. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. We've not been able to stop him all night. Takes off, gets into the paint, throws up the layup. And we still can't stop him or contain him. 119-118 with a minute and a half to go in the game. Tyrese Maxey with 50 points tonight. His career is 51. He has a chance of breaking that tonight. Brandon gets it to Wemby. Eight on the shot clock. Wemby starts to drive, gets into the paint. Will throw a cross court to Devontae Graham. Graham's going to take the three. Spurs retake the lead by two. This has been a crazy game. Cowboy X Factor, I think it's three shots fine. I just think he sometimes he needs to shoot that less. Maxi pull up jumper. Off the rim, no good. Spurs rebound. Under a minute to go, up by two. I don't know if I want double OT, uh, Kaboom. How about that? Let's get the 200 likes indeed, Sugar J. Cherry. Thank you for stopping in. Spurs ball, 12 on the shot clock, 42 on the game clock. Champagne open for three. Ah, oh, bricked it. Trey Jones tries to save it from going out of bounds. It's going to be Sixers ball. And Batum with the ball. 
Pass it off, and now easy dunk for K.J. Martin. It's all tied up. 24 seconds to go. Spurs taking a timeout? Yes, they are. Oh, Sanders, I love NBA Jam. Welcome to NBA Jam, 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 Jam. Boom, shakalaka. He's heating up. Oh, no timeout. Oh, I thought they were going to call a timeout. Never mind. Shot clock is pretty much up. There's like a half second differential between. I mean, it's on. There's a half second differential. We might be seeing double OT. They're going to get into Wemby with four seconds to go. Wemby turn around, Jay. It's an air ball. And we are going to double overtime. I'm sorry, Fire Chigger Jay Cherry. Cecil, thank you. The clock should have expired. They're, I think they're checking to see if there's like a, a hair of a second on the clock. Are they saying 0.3 left? Oh, no. Are you saying they call the timeout? They are putting 0.3 on the clock. All right. We're not in double overtime yet. Oh my goodness, this game is nuts. <laughs> it did not, did it great? I don't think it hit the rim. So that would be a shot clock violation, which would give the Sixers 0.3 seconds. Point 0.8. Ooh. All right. I think I just heard point 0.8, my friends. The Sixers have a chance to, I mean, you can, you can score here. They just put eight full seconds on, on the TV. It's not, thank you, it's 0 0.8. I'm going to have to ignore the chat here for a moment for the end of the game, just in case there's any spoilers. This game is not going into double overtime yet. 0 0.8 on the clock. Not what I expected to see here on a Sunday night, but, um, Nah, it is what it is, right? Sixers got possession, call timeout is what I'm hearing. Okay. 0 0.8. Hey, no matter what happens, good game Sixers fans, good game Spurs fans, glad to see both teams fighting all night. The Sixers, I don't know if they have anything to play for position-wise. The Spurs have nothing to play for. They're obviously still giving it their best. At some point, we'll finally get to this play. It's turning into a long stream. I thought I'd be on my Xbox playing Diablo 4 at 9.30. Not here in overtime. Batum's going to get it in for the Sixers. 0.8 on the clock. The Sixers do have two timeouts. They'll toss it in. Oubre. Off the rim, no good. Double overtime. Sixers are playing to avoid the play-in. Oh, are they? Good evening, that guy. Pat the Cafe, thank you for stopping in. It was 0 0.8. Point, or point zero 0.08. We're going to get 10 overtimes tonight. <laughs> Angie, who gets the ball? It's going to be a jump ball. It's double overtime. Oh, boy. Maybe I won't be getting on my Xbox tonight. <laughs> Which is fine. Double overtime coming up. What? What a game. I wonder how tired some of these players are getting. Uh, I don't know how 2 OT is going to look on here. 2 OT is a, is a little... It's a little... I got to fix that. I got to fix that. Can't move it over a little bit. I guess I got to squish it down a little bit. It's not often I put 2 OT up here, as in never. But it's going to be second overtime here coming up, my friends. Yeah, right? So much for the early game is right. Four assists, four boards needed for Wemby. Uh, or four blocks. Okay, Wemby had seven blocks, but he took one away. Wemby has 33 points, 16 boards, six assists. Maxi has 50 points. Wemby's career high is 40. Could he get, to, could he get seven points in double overtime? Does he have any energy left? I feel sorry for the dog. He's probably, well, no, he's asleep. 
So, uh, for those that don't know, I'm watching my girlfriend's dog, and here's how excited he is about double overtime. Oh, wait. He still hasn't moved. He has not cared all game what the Spurs do. Okay, at least he's consistent. I'll give him that. Thank you, Frankie. says, hit that like, y'all. Platoon should let his fellow Frenchie get the game winner. HMC Laboratory, thank you for stopping in. Young Young P the uh, Young P the Great, thank you for stopping in. For some reason, Pistol NBA said uh, it was seven. They took one away. I don't know. And Zenith, I hope you're right. Workforce Planner, uh, the dog's name is Bear. B E A R. Selena has been staring at me all night and it's starting to make me uncomfortable. Wemby is tired, but we cannot have him. Yes, Greg. He's still breathing. He just looked, he just. He's breathing. I see him moving. That dog is, is me watching the Saints play. Fair enough. He's moving. He's fine. Do you want me to throw baby coyote on him and, and have, make him make him move? I don't want to do that. Double overtime deserves double likes. Who I'll tell you what, if the Spurs win and they just want to jump ball, I'll kiss Selena tonight. Because it's a double overtime. I think this is the first double overtime game I've called this season. Seven ties, ten lead changes. The Sixers had the biggest lead. They were up by 14 at one point. I missed a double overtime game of what the what's the Knicks? Offensive foul, let me. I was in Atlantic City from the Knicks game, so I couldn't call it. Bear is me watching WrestleMania. <laughs> Wemby and Bear had the same energy left. That's probably true. Right, Mark? Wemby will throw the ball again. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Maxi with the ball. Starts to drive on Champagne. Spins around. Fade away. Is no good. Offensive rebound by Council. I don't even know that dude's first name. Council the fourth for the Sixers. Maxi with another shot. Off the rim. No good. And Vonta Graham with the rebound. Fast break for the Spurs. They get it up to Champagne. Champagne in the paint. Layup is no good, but he's fouled. Oh, this is our first double OT? Lena's lips already. I thought we had a double OT kaboom. All right, never mind. This is our first double OT. By the way, let me introduce everybody. You guys already saw Bear. My name is Rich, TSR Sports. That's Selena Gomez, Baby Coyote, and running the scoreboard, Headband Power Grogu. Not headband, not head wound Grogu. He's wearing a headband because he's a basketball player now. Champagne at the line for two. I mean, Angie, I would be young. She'll thank you for stopping in. He's seven foot three. I'm not going to criticize his conditioning. What's he played over like 36 minutes at this point? Champagne's first free throw is good. How many seven foot four guys can go 40 minutes a night? Bear's a good name for him. He's hibernating. Je suis Francais Le Gars. Are they experts? Very far with me. Wemby has nine turnovers tonight. No, he doesn't. Glaze and Bacon, does he? Does he have nine turnovers tonight? Matching the paint, going to get fouled. And bodies are hitting the floor, 123-121. Yes, Carlos, my friend. Two overtimes. Does that, when they really have nine turnovers? I certainly would expect four or five. Is, is it eight? Triple OT? Ken, I'm fine for it. 24 quits, thank you, by the way. I'm French guy. Ah, thank you, Arno. What, yes, triple-double with turnovers. Hey, if they counted turnovers for triple-doubles and quadruple-doubles, Russell Westbrook would have like 50 quadruple-doubles. Maxi's at the line, by the way. His career high, I think I heard, is 51. And one more free throw, and he's going he's gonna to tie that, or he's going to eclipse that. Got it. Speaking of eclipse, apparently the eclipse is tomorrow, for those of you that are into that. Oh, we turned the ball over a ton tonight. Way too much. All tied at 123, four minutes to go in double overtime. Spurs ball. Trey Jones out in three-point land, starts to drive. Out to Graham, back to Champagne, open for three. No good. Maxi with the rebound and sprinting up the court. Maxi into the paint. Oh, he just elbowed Devontae Graham in the face. But the foul's going to be on Devontae Graham. I didn't see what happened before the contact. Oh, that should be an offensive foul. That's an offensive foul. Spurs need to challenge this. 
Tyrese Maxey elbowed Devontae Graham on the face before the other contact, and the Spurs are challenging it. That's a challenge. We should win that one. Tyrese Maxey running in, put his arm up, elbowed Graham on the face. I think we'll win this one. Boo Day, I can't see how we wouldn't win this. They're showing the replay again. Graham's running back, no contact yet. Eats the elbow, and then there's the body contact. But I, I think the Spurs will win this one. You can't just out. It's the uh, we've seen it a lot in the NBA. Usually not when players are running, but when players are set and they swing their elbow to adjust for the upcoming shot. And that's what Max is doing. He was getting his arms up like this to get ready to take the shot, and he gave Demonte Graham the people's elbow. I think it's going to be an offensive foul. Maxi tended to harden the flop, floppy, <laughs> flopping. Wow, that's a lot of flops in there, Biscuit Buddy. I'd be up for triple overtime. If the Spurs don't win this challenge, I'm going to be shocked. Yes, I'm a Spurs fan. But if you've been to this channel before, you've heard me obviously call things against the Spurs. This one, I think, is going to go into 76ers. Oh, okay, Angie. I sometimes can't tell. All good. I think he only caught one elbow. He caught the left elbow? Yeah, left elbow. Or did he get both? He took a left elbow to the face, and then the right elbow hit his arm. So he actually did get hit by both elbows. Graham immediately looked at Pop and was like, you know, challenge it. They're reviewing it still. Reps are still taking a long look at this. This is, this is going to be my longest stream of the year, I think. Uh, no cowboy effect where he can't. Offensive foul. Mario, it's been a great game. Maxi thinks he's the rock, right? Jabroni, you are three seconds away. And the rock. I can't do the rock. You smell the rock is cooking. All right. I'm actually not opposed to triple overtime, just for the record. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But, but I'm not. Oh, the Coyote's got the... Uh, <laughs> this, the switch or reverse from Uno up. It is an Uno card. I think it's a reverse you put up. Good job, Co Good job Coyote. It's so empty at the Frostbank Center, and the, the fans are missing a hell of a game. Graham with a catch and shoot three. Back rim, no good. Julian Champagne with the offensive board out to Branham for three. Spurs up 126-123. All right, John Michael. <clears throat> if you only be the power of the dark side. <sighs> Luke, help me take this mask off so I can look at you with my own eyes. Ooh, happy <laughs> All right. Sixers ball 10 on the shot clock. Max is going to start to drive into the paint. Dishes it to Council. Council and one. Gets the layup and one. The game that will never end. Champagne made the three pointer. And Council with the bucket. I honestly have no idea who this guy is. But if you're new to the channel, above me is the game clock. That's a live game clock that I manually. I'm sorry. Headband Grogu runs. Grogu also runs the scoreboard. The players are on the court or over on your right. And the best darn Spurs community is in the chat. Tie game. Ricky Council. Okay, that's his first name. I don't know. Three minutes to go in double overtime. All tied up. Trey Jones will bring it up for San Antonio. The Sixers are in the bonus. Just so you know. Five fouls already on the Spurs. Only one on the Sixers. Brandon going to take a three over Batum. A little short. Maxi flies in for the rebound. 126 all, 240 to go. Tyrese, what a huge game for Philly. What a career high tonight. And the game's not over yet. Tyrese guarded by Wemmy. That is a huge mismatch speed wise. He blows right by Wemmy into the paint. And he gets blocked by Wemmy. Is this another goaltend? Ten? 
Sean Elliott saying that's a good block. Oh, that is really close. He trapped it on the backboard. That is... Ooh. He traps it on the glass. I think the referee sucks chants are coming out right now. That's the third goaltend we've been hit with tonight. He pinned it on the backboard. The refs are going to take a look at it. That's another challenge by the Spurs. All things being equal on the Spurs, just playing Wemby 36 in the game, the Phillies would be a 5 on a team. I mean, Wemby's got the... Uh, yeah, it's the third block. For, actually, Biscuit Buddy wasn't one on Champagny. I think one was on Champagny, two on Wemby tonight. That's close. I'm not an expert when it comes to the rules on block shots. I know the ball can't be descending. It can't be in the cylinder. That's going to be close. I'm going to trust Sean Elliott, who's an NBA player, an NBA champion, and a former NBA All-Star, and saying that's a good block. He said it's close, but he's saying that's a good block. If Sean Elliott's saying it's a good block, I'll go with the good block. Bro, bro, just say that he's tall as F and you can't tell. New here, given how much angry trash is on sports YouTube, I'm liking how wholesome, reasonable this place is. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate that. I try to keep it PG rated here. Occasionally a swear will 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 pop out, but I do try to keep it keep it clean because I know kids are watching. And while I don't strive to be a role model per se, I don't want to be somebody that's a bad influence. Bot by Wendy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's, uh, let's do this. There we go. I do Giants videos where I do troll the Cowboys, Eagles, and Washington, but it's, I don't swear during it, so it's a polite trolling. Uh, I may have the occasional rage reaction, if I'm being transparent, when the Eagles signed Saquon Barkley. I just yelled for 20 seconds. <laughs> That's the whole video. I don't know what to do. So I'm not going to yell. That's all I had. But I, I really try not to swear. Don't do sponsorships. Don't do memberships. I want to keep this a fun sports community. Yes, it's primarily for Spurs fans and Giants fans, but certainly open to anybody that's just looking for a place. You know, 76ers fans, of course, more than welcome to be here. And actually, Spurs, well, all tied up 126, 26, 126 in double overtime. And I can't wait till Miss TSR Sports joins the channel at some point later this year, too. And now a turnover by the Spurs. That's been killing us all night. We must have over 20 at this point. Maxi with the ball, one-on-one -on -one with Trey Jones. Maxi's been eating us alive all night. Out to Council, rocking the headman power. Council's going to drive in the paint and found the Spurs. And that's going to be two free throws. The Sixers are on the bonus. Go Spurs, go with you, John Cardinal. Thank you for stopping in. Is there anybody that we haven't shown? Oh, well, we haven't shown this much tonight. <laughs> Rudy says, I can't stand the Cowboys. Hey, you know, Rudy, the reason I kind of uh, troll the Cowboys is. It just makes sense. I'm a Giants fan, Grant. The Giants stink. I'm not going to deny that. First free throw is good. But I want to do a little more NFL content because I'm just a short content creator for football. That's my wheelhouse. 60 seconds or left on football. And, you know, if something bad happens to the Dallas, Philly, or Washington team, why not cover it? They're an NFC East rival. Both free throws good. Spurs down by two in the game. That will never end. Devontae Graham will bring it up for the Spurs. And the Spurs have been running... Graham and Jones, pretty much both overtimes, I think, with Kellen Johnson being out with the ankle injury. That's right. Kellen tweaked the ankle he was already dealing with, and he's probably done for the year. Jones is going to fly by the defense into the paint. Layup is no good. Oh, the rim got him. Counts on the paint. Kicks it out the platoon for three. Dang you, Nicholas Batum. Dang you. You bald-headed, tall, three-point shooting Philadelphia 76er. I really got him, huh? Spurs ball. Turnover by Branham. Oubre, alley-oop to Martin, and we are in trouble. Wow.
I just heard Bill say that three straight possessions, your best player did not touch the basketball. Carlos, thanks for the $1 super chat, and that's my face right now. And yep, three possessions without Wemmy touching the ball. Oh, they're definitely tired. Um, uh, no, Baby Coyote, uh, Grogu's the, Grogu, Grogu takes care of all the electronics. In Coffee Corner, I mean, when you look at this game, if they lose, which right now they're very much in jeopardy of doing, it's going to be the turnovers. The turnovers are going to get us in the end. I, I see somebody mentioning the referees. We can certainly blame the refs all we want, but I'm pretty sure the team has over 20 turnovers. You're not going to win a lot of basketball games turning the ball over that much. You're just not. Ron, good evening to you. Uh, Mr. Sabbath, I can't argue with that. When he's played 42 minutes. Wow. That's a lot. New me, thank you for stopping in. Like the good job at the drawing there. Like it. And Helen, yes, it was fun. And that's one of the things I've been saying all season to the Spurs fans. Hey, we're not a playoff team. We're not even a playing team. If we lose, so be it. I'd rather we win, but at least compete. This team has been very competitive the last five games, winning three out of the last five. Very competitive tonight. I think they're just out of gas. This point, I mean, Wemby, I think, is clearly tired. And as good as Wemby is, we got nothing in the gas tank. That engine ain't going to move. That car ain't going to move. It is first ball. We got a minute six left in the game. Wemby finally has touched the ball, gets double teamed, gets around the double team, and turns it over. That's a dagger. Yeah, that's going to do it. That just makes sense, first fans. We, we lose by the turnover. And on the shot clock. Maxi drives into the paint. Off-balance jumper. Short, no good. Wendy with the rebound. Wendy will bring it up. Gets it up to Champagny. Champagny over to Trey Jones. Jones with the corner three. Air ball. Hey, maybe just barely got room. And that, that is definitely the game now. Bill will bring it up. The Spurs aren't fouling. They're waving the white towel. Thank you all for a wonderful stream tonight. If you could hit the thumbs up on the way out, we'd greatly appreciate it. It does still up the channel. Go, Spurs, go. Go, Spurs, go. No, the Spurs do not play tomorrow. The Spurs do not play. The Sixers will just run out the uh, just let it run. You know what? I'm not gonna be at the team too much. They played hard. They just the turnovers. Thank you, Steven. Are the 76ers fighting for a playoff spot? I believe they are, Steven. Thank you for the $5 super chat. I believe they're trying to avoid being a playing team, so they have something to play for tonight. Although they rested everybody. Embiid, Lowry, Harris, Melton, all out tonight. It was a good game. Um, dang, this turned out to be a three-hour stream. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be... I think I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to get, I'm get Doggy out, and then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to watch a little TV, but let's go ahead and let's pull up the final stats because I always do that. Congratulations, any 76ers fans in the chat, by the way. Hey, good game. You guys got us. You got us both times this year. You sweep the two-game series for the Spurs fans that want us to stay, you know, in the bottom of the standings. Losing tonight, we are, before I get into the final game standings, the Pistons have 13 wins. The Wizards have 15. We're tied with the Hornets with 19. The Blazers have 21 wins. We have four games left on the season. I don't think we're going to catch Portland. Even if Portland loses out, we might tie them. We're definitely not catching the Raptors. The Raptors have 25 wins, two behind the Grizzlies. The Raptors have won two in a row uh, after a 15-game losing streak. So I don't know what the heck is going on there. But let's get into the final stats for this game, my friends. A good game. I wish we would have won it, but Jared, good evening to you. You are a bit late. Double overtime game over. The Spurs lost. You got outscored 22 to 15 in OT. As far as the stats, Batum with nine, Reed with 11 and 10 rebounds, and he fouled out. Payne with three. He had a horrible game, one of eight from the field. Maxi with 52 points. He was 19 of 41, so it did take a lot of shots. He also played a game high, I believe, 54 minutes. Yep, that was a game high. So out of a possible. 58, he played 54. Props to Tyrese Maxey also had five rebounds, seven assists. Oubre Jr. went for 26. Off the bench, Martin with eight. Mamba with three. Heald with 10. 
Fountain with zero and Council with 11. For our San Antonio Spurs, who, by the way, finished with 25 turnovers to the 76ers 10. Yep, that'll get you. 25 turnovers. Champagny was very solid tonight. 17 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. Kellen looked rusty. 7 points on 2 of 8 shooting and then ended up and 3 turnovers. Had, had a rough game. Tweaked his ankle, I think, early in the fourth quarter. Went to the locker room. He is done for the year. Wemby, what can I say? 33 points, 11 of 20 from the field, 5 of 10 from three-point land, 18 rebounds, 6 assists. Would have had a triple-double with assists, no problem. His teammates missed a lot of open shots in the first half. Seven blocks. He had nine turnovers, though. That one hurts. Nine turnovers, that is just that was way too much. Uh, I can't sugarcoat that. There, there's no positive I can spin on nine turnovers. Maybe sure you could say one or two of them, maybe even three were not on him, but nine is still a lot. Speaking of turnovers, Trey Jones was also a little loose with the ball tonight. He had five turnovers himself. Granted, he played 49 minutes, so there is that. He did finish with 17 points, eight rebounds, nine assists, and two steals. Branham with 22 points has found his three-point stroke again with five of eight. Off the bench, Collins with nine. Mamu with six. Had a rough shooting night. Mamu was one of six from the field. Devontae Graham with 9 points and 6 assists. Also had a rough shooting night. 2 of 9 from beyond the arc for Devontae. And Blake Wesley finished with 6 points, 4 boards, but no assists. The Spurs lose 133-26. to 26, Dropping to 19-59. 4 games left on the season's Spurs fans. It will be live for the rest of the season. So if you're new to this channel and looking for a place to hang out, or if you can't get the game, we'll be here Tuesday for the Grizzlies. Wednesday for OKC. That's right. Chet versus Wemby. The final match, the determined rookie of the year. No, that's already determined. It's Wemby. We got the Nuggets again on April 12th, this Friday. The Nuggets might be resting everybody at that point. Who knows? And then we finish the season against the Pistons on Sunday at 3.30. I'm going to call the game. That's going to be one of the worst games of the year probably to watch. Maybe the worst game of the year is everybody might be sitting at that point. But I'm a Spurs fan, and I promise you guys I would cover as many games as possible. The goal was to call 90 games for the whole season between Summer League, preseason, and the regular season. Going to fall one short. I missed three games, not by choice. One because of an eye injury I couldn't see, so I couldn't call the game. And then both Nets games, I was ready to call, had the stream set up, and the games were blacked out. So I'm going to have to figure something else out for the Nets games, because as it stands right now, but where I live, I cannot ever call the Nets with the NBA League pass, which is stupid. But uh, complaining about it ain't going to change what is. Let me get to the chat, say my goodbyes, make sure I don't miss any super chats. Not that I'm asking for anybody. I just want to make sure that, you know, I haven't missed them before. Okay, nothing. Good, good. Uh, Wemmy Defensive Player of the Year? Should be. Wemmy's going to go for 100 versus the Pistons. Hello from Canada. I don't get the games on TV. really enjoy your streams. Thank you, Grant. appreciate that. Honestly, Kellen Johnson with a low-scoring game. Nova sell lots of turnovers to the team. I can't be that mad we lost to a solid Sixers team. I agree with that, but the Sixers were without three starters tonight, so I think that kind of kind of evens it out. That being said, they fought, and that's all I've asked for all season with all the losing is just keep fighting, and they fought tonight and almost won. Spurs are 0 for Sunday. Are you serious? Nice. Have we not won on Sunday? They did take some blocks away. I don't know if it was two, but at least one. There was a lot of goal tens, so... South Carolina, what, what's going on? Uh, did Caitlin Clark's team get knocked out tonight, Jared? I have no idea what's going on on the women's side of the uh, the final. Is the, was it the final two? Christian, when did look tired at the end of the game, it was double overtime. Nobody should be faulting his cardio. I would have been tired after that much. Uh, okay, thank you, Jared. Uh, Y'all don't know my pain tonight. I had to stream it, and the game was a Sixers broadcast. Oh, Mari. I want to thank you all, though, for a fun stream tonight. Yeah, our guys lost, but I had a lot of fun, and that's always the focus of this channel. Cover our team, root for our team, and have fun, and got to do all three tonight. There's only four games left in the season. It's going to be such a life change for me next week when there's no more Spurs basketball to cover live. That being said, we'll still talk Spurs in the offseason. Draft profiles, draft, you know, Potential draft picks, trade rumors, especially with the Trey Young trade rumors still floating around. Any other realistic trade rumors we'll cover. I will be covering the Giants more as we get closer to draft. Maybe some. I, I cover, I'm just a shorts content creator for the Giants, but I still enjoy doing that. Keep an eye on my man Kai Soda. I'm rooting for him. If you're anyway that's on the channel at this point, this late in the stream, if you're wondering why I'm covering Kai, 
You guys asked me to check him out two years ago and I've been following him on and off for two years. And I'm just, you know what? Because more, it seems like he has a small percentage of people that are rooting against him. It makes me want to root for him more. I feel like he's kind of an underdog. And because I see how excited people get about him maybe making it to the NBA, I feed off of that energy and it makes me excited too. So that's uh, Christian lives after the season. The NBA lottery in May, the NBA lottery results, the NBA draft. I don't know if I'm going to cover both nights. Depends how long both nights are. We'll see. Um, maybe it's Miss TSR watches one of them with me. That'll help me get through it. Uh, or she does both. Um, I'll do reactions in the NFL draft, but it's act for actual live streams. The NBA lottery results, the, uh, the four Spurs remaining games, the NBA draft itself, at least night one, maybe night two. And we'll see. I mean, I guess, I guess the Bronny watch for night two should be interesting. Let's see if anybody drafts him. Because I don't think he's not going to be. He should not be a first round pick. Absolutely not. A lot of you think he should not be drafted at all. But somebody's going to take him. It'll be interesting to follow that on night number two. So my friends, thank you again. If you could hit the thumbs up on the way out, we'd greatly appreciate it. It still does help the channel. Uh, this ended up being a very long stream of well over three hours. So I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all. On behalf of myself, Selena, T.S. Bear, Headband Grogu, and Baby Coyote. What you gonna do when TSR Sports runs wild on you? Go Spurs, go!